All right, what's up, everybody? Let me know if you can hear this or not. Uh, press one if uh, you can hear me. All the music that I play in a second. Shout out to Rat Trap City and the Novella channel. Uh, and the We Push Back website. Link is in the description. Oh, I appreciate the service. Wide awake. Yeah, I got to check that out. And we'll check it out. For sure. Come on. You hear me? I don't know if they can hear me or not. Oh, you can hear me? All right, cool. What's up, Ron? Uncle Edwin, what's up? <clears throat> All right, you can hear me. Shout out to Miss America, dedicated to our sponsor. One of my, I'm one of uh, Miss America's biggest fans. All right, sounds good. All right, let's listen to The Rat Trap. And then we'll watch the novellas. Sing all the words with me all the way through if you want to A long, long time ago, there was a fanook named Ravano, and he was in the light. And he knew if he had his chance, he would ask a man to dance and maybe even kiss him for a while. All those thoughts they made him shiver. He could learn to do hairy figures Why you think it's on the doorstep Better not take that step I can't remember if he cried the day He realized that he was by His brother not happened to peek inside The day he kissed a bride So bye bye, yes, Gravano is by Passive tops and power bottoms, careful, he's a small fry. Killed his brother in law, then looked his wife in the eye. He was gonna tell the mob he was by. Gonna tell the mob he was by. If it came to push or shove, would you really choose a man to love? Let your heart tell you so. Now you've got a wife at home, maybe she could save your mortal soul. Then she teach you how to dance real slow. Now I know that you're in love with me. Cause I saw you dancing in the gym You both kicked off your shoes You were digging those rhythm and blues She was a lonely teenage drunken buck With a pink carnation on his brand new tux But he knew he was out of luck The day he saw you kiss a guy he started singing bye bye, yes, Nirvana was by. Pass and tops and power bottoms, careful, he's a small guy. But his brother in law looked his wife in the eye, cause he was gonna tell the mob he was by. Gonna tell the mob he was by. I wish I could tell you that's the end. But Gravano snitched on all his friends. So he turned his back and walked away. When they had their day in court, they faced the music years before. The government told him exactly what to say. In the streets, the people screamed. The families cried and reporters dreamed. No more words were spoken. The real men stood unbroken. 
He snitched on those who mattered most The Gaudis and the Lassios They caught the last train for the coast The day Nirvana Bye Bye, bye Yes, Nirvana was bye Passive tops in power bottoms, hair for he's a small fry. Killed his brother in love and looked his wife in the eye. He was gonna tell the mob he was by. Gonna tell the mob he was by. Now we're singing. Bye bye, yes, Gravano is by. Passive tops and power bottoms, careful, he's a small fry. Killed his brother in love and looked his wife in the eye. He was gonna tell the mob he was by. And that was the great Rat Trap City with his great parody song from uh, American Pie. Instead of American Pie, it's Sammy the Bye. We're going to watch some uh, Mob Tube novellas that I haven't been, I said I'd play for a while and never got the chance to play them. Thank you, Rat Trap City. What a great performer. His channel link is in the description. The dude's got skills. Shout out to these music makers, to Heaps and uh, Rat Trap City and all the music makers out there. Rat, the Rat Trap. Great song, Rat Trap. All right, let's say hi to the chat first and play the novella. My Brad Hunter, what's up, bro? OG fucking rat hater right there. What's up, brother? Mustang Mike, Mini to Mucha, what's going on? Pain like Bane, Sammy to the bye. Shout out to Miss America. I'm Miss America's biggest fan. Uncle Edwin, what's going on, my Uncle Edwin? Make sure everybody in here, if you're not subbed to Uncle Edwin, make sure you check him out. Damn it, Mandy! Damn you, Mandy. What's going on? Dustin, how's it going? Claimed he never learned how to cut hair. See, I got, hey, listen, nothing against people who cut hair. There's nothing wrong with that. But we all know, you know, acid tops and power bottoms, and we know Sammy's a small fry. All right, Pete Allen Kaiser. Paul and Kaiser, what's up, bro? I love that great hat. Love that dog. You check out that dog's channel. Look how beautiful that dog is. And check out my bro, Pain Like Bane's channel. All the characters that are in here. All right, let's get uh, let's play uh these two novellas right here. This is episode three from season two right here, because uh I like playing these because a lot of people uh forget, a lot of people do rotten things and try to reinvent themselves, and plus they're just funny to me. I like looking back and having some laughs, uh, at these uh clowns in here. What's going on? All right, hold on a second. And shout out to the Novella channel is in the link in the description also. Uh, he's got uh, the Novella channel. There's a whole bunch of these things. Make sure you sub to it. <laughs> What's up, Parasite Slayer, Dustin? Just because it was put up there, it was proved damages. I don't know. <laughs> lawsuit of anybody on here but i'm not somebody who's gonna run and initiate a fucking lawsuit that is so <laughs> weak to me that's pussy shit. now watch the hypocrisy of these guys are just amazing oh man uh what's up eddie 
Hala, these are the rat enablers. Uh, these are the guys who bring all the stool pigeons on their channel and interview all the stool pigeons and, and do their dirty work. Dox people, look up people's families. You'll see. You'll hear them talking about trying to call my family's jobs and stuff. They're very sick people. Shout out to Miss America out there. What's up, Dirk? Yeah, he's a cop. You're going to see the biggest cop. Call. This will blow your mind. The hypocrisy. That's why there's no, there's not many men in this genre. Most of these people are fucking flip floppers, liars, ass kisses, fanboys, sickos. This is how I know I must be one of the only real fucking street guys on here. Because <laughs> I don't come from that. In the street, if somebody abuses you, you hurt them. You do something to them. Shoot up their house. Light their fucking car on fire. Beat them with the fucking baseball bat. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. But you don't run to the cops or the lawyers or any fucking buddy else. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm maybe I'm not built for this YouTube thing. Because this is a bunch of people who claim to be something they're not. They're tough guys. They're tough girls. They're this. They're that. They're street guys. They come from a family full of killers. Whatever it may be. But then as soon as you hurt their feelings... They're calling the lawyers and they're calling the, the cops. Get the fuck. What? Hey, why the guns you asking me if I go on Lee Cole's show? That's what you asked? Yes, he did. Yeah. Next question. Yeah, yes, yeah, he did. Yeah, I did. Like I said, I did. I haven't went on maybe fucking four months. The idiot, you know. Funhouse, don't let me take my know, teeth yeah. out. So don't, don't upset me. I dropped my teeth, you motherfucker. Anyway, fun. <laughs> you, you see the, the comment on this on this on this show. That's what I'm asking. You see the question? I can't, bro. I don't see the com. I don't read comments. Can so you go on Lee's show, or you, you? How do you feel about? What Lee? else? Bro, the I bottom question is: Are you a piece of shit, or are you an FBS loyalist? Wow. I don't know. I'll Maybe now this is the stool pigeon, Bill Cattulo Jr. Crying Bill. This guy's always crying. He'll start a conversation off like. Yeah, you know, I was going to go get those guys and go down the street and get a cannoli and then everything just went bad. This guy's a fucking sicko. He looks like Fire Marshal Bill. You raid Billy with my sword. I don't know. I'll you raid Billy with my sword. Who's this half a moron? Eviscerate Billy. I don't eviscerate people with the sword. Look at his teeth. Look, the government bought Bill new teeth. Fire Marshal Bill. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, FBI. Look at the fucking pearly whites. Like anybody that has white teeth like that who paid for them, like the government bought him his teeth. Lord. I don't know. The district attorney fired. Listen. Help. Now this guy is a phone. This guy tries to say he was in the Detroit mafia and all kinds of stuff. He's just like a fanboy from Fresno. We've seen him on uh he had some show back in 2017 where he wanted to keep illegals out of the country. And he said he was this perfect right wing gentleman or whatever. And now he's telling everybody he was a mobster from Detroit. The guy's insane. The opponent. This can't be wrong. Even better than that. In 2016, after I was taken off probation early, I helped Listen. the opponent of the district attorney who prosecuted me huh. and she won the case she won the case she won the election so i'm one of the few ex-mobsters who can say i got the district attorney now imagine calling yourself an ex-mobster remember before he told us he was john Gotti's colleague and that the mob would have no problem if he killed john Gotti's daughter remember he said that fucking weirdo these are guys are all like 50 something year old podheads who sit in their basement at their mom's house going on YouTube acting like gangs. This guy said he was a member of cartels, worked with cartels, more stories, man. He fired who messed with me. <laughs> now, solely me, no. You know, I, you know I, I, I walked a few precincts, I handed out flyers and wrote a uh, handout for the gal's name is Lisa Smith Camp. She's our current VA. Cool chick. She went to, you know, her family is part of the power structure here. Went to Fresno State, too. You know, kind of says, well, this guy, lie. yeah, we're going to show him. There's a lie in the guy. kind of says, all right, now, right here, this is the stool pigeon, Anthony Arellata out of Springfield. Big fucking stool pigeon. He's in that stool pigeon club up in Mount Carmel, the Mount Carmel, whatever, in Springfield. Big fucking stool pigeon club. 
They let stool pigeons come in here and have little mafia fucking shows. Stupid shit. I don't like the idea that somebody's going to say that this club can't look in the mirror. No, you can't look in the mirror. I'll say it right now. If you have a social club uh, up in Springfield and there was a bunch of good guys you used to hang in there and all of a sudden it turned to a rat's nest, you should be ashamed of yourself. That club's a joke. Okay. It's a very tall club. We're 125 years old. Right? 125 years old. In the last five years, you'd fucking ruined everything. You look like a fucking jerk off. Okay. And going strong. Absolutely. Now you don't know. Going strong with a fucking government informant in there doing a show with some junkie. Fucking give me a break. Nothing about this club. You know nothing about what we do. Okay, this is not a mob. No, I know everything about your club. I need to know by seeing this rat sitting right there in your social club. Fucking clowns. No, never been a mob hangout. Right, right. We're as clean as a whistle down here. Right. So for you to start bringing my club up in your show it's got to stop i don't know who they're talking about i don't know who they're talking about uh who they're fighting with but nobody's calling you a mob club trust that nobody thinks you's a mobbed up there is no mob no more anyways but even if there was nobody thinks that you've got a fucking informant right here like give me a break he, he should be so lucky to, uh, well if he wants to come to a place like this if he wants to come down and have a drink the drinks are on me yeah, oh my God. <laughs> yeah well no, I'm just trying to think who they're talking about. Say, you want some some club, club. Stop talking about it. Oh. What's up, Carol? What's up, foolish flock? Yeah, I don't know who they talking. Are they talking about Lee? Lee Colioni? Are they talking? Oh, he's talk he is talking about Paps. Okay. He was talking about I was wondering who the hell they were talking about. There's uh, the three stooges. Yeah. Any like I said, anybody that's would let. Anybody who has an Italian social club that good people used to hang at for years who would let informants in there to do these scumbag shows, it's fucking a joke. And there's Lee and Piggy fighting in some old fight. I don't know when this was from. Minute. Why do you come on here sniffing at night where it's obvious that you're fucking you doing drugs? I agree with Paps. I believe Piggy dabbles in coke again because when Piggy first started his channel, Piggy had some weight on him. Piggy lost the weight. I believe he does dabble in coke. That's just my hypothesis. Because I, since I got back from Miami the first time, I got sick and I, for some no, reason, that's what, my nose that's what a drug addict says. That's what a drug addict says. You can say whatever you want. I got a cold right now. I got a cold right now. No, I do it all the time. Sniffling can be from a thousand used? different things. You know you've used it. No, I haven't used it. I'm the only You're person on here truly sober, state. though. Yeah, 41, months. 41 months. Coming from a full-blown junkie, you, Lee. Look at your people. I'll tell you what. Okay, hey, what are the two Gene Borello tapes? I'll, t I'll tell you what. Go ahead. Uh, you find any clinic, you find any clinic, send me there at any time, I'll take, I'll take a blood test. Jody, MRE, let me tell you something. Gunsmoke is a 36-year-old grown man. He's talking about the kid, Paul Smoke, the kid who put my information out there. And they told him to do it. They made him do it. Uh, the kid's like a little bitch. Everybody knows Soy Smoke. Whoever is hanging with him, he becomes. He emulates. The fucking mind. And mob talk radio. And he's going to admit it. A bunch of these people are looking into me, look, trying to find out who I was. Of his own. But see, anytime Gunsmoke does anything, these fucking clowns say, oh, FBS uses him. Jimmy uses him. Oh, they made him do that first. They don't have balls. And it's true. You, you even kind of, like, kind of admitted that, that you were scared. You thought I was some terrorist that was going to come blow your house up or something. Bro, Gunsmoke makes his own choices. He makes his own choices. I think it's funny that Gunsmoke took all the rats off his show and took the rats to his show. Choices. What the fuck are you talking about? But eventually, hopefully, he'll pop on here and he can tell you goddamn well. Uh, I would never push him into that. I would never do something like that ever. That would have to be Gunsmoke's choice. So... You know what I mean? Uh, this is, listen, this is something that was, a, you know, there was a, a few people in on it together. That's all. See? You blame who you want. A few people in on it all together. Fucking clowns. Because they couldn't bat back and forth. All these guys were my biggest fans. They became stands. Fans turn into stands. But 
and if anybody don't know what a stan is, it's a stalker fan, somebody who fucking idolized you. These guys would call me a god. I said I had the best best channel around. I love them. They copied my words, uh, my bants. These guys are like no wit, no originality. They just lame. MRE said one thing that is correct. We did not dox him. He said that. He said FBS didn't dox me, and he knows Gunsmoke didn't dox him. This is this is shit. If anything, Damien Argenti doxed him. He had videos up of the fucking guy. No, Damien didn't dox me. Use all did dox me. Use went and found the video on Damien's channel of me and Damien on there, and then you hit Mob Talk Radio up, and Mob Talk Radio, you and Pulse Smoke all put the pieces together. Fucking clowns. And, um, you know, this is information that's been online and shit for some time. So there was no doxing that went on here, okay? Um, well, the internal hypocrite. Panisi, Panisi apparently, in, the, in his community, to have five or six months ago, put a picture of him up with his Doberman that said, I lost a dear friend or something. I just looked at it. Yes, John Panisi, uh, about seven months before I was doxed, John Panisi, the rat stool pigeon scumbag, who lied about Stephen Crea, Matthew Madonia, Caldwell, and Londonio, uh, put a picture of me in my dog, because Tom is the one, uh, Tipsy Tom originally found out who I was because I was making fun of his rat friend. So he put a picture up of me and my dog, and I went there and left messages under it. I was like, drop it, clown. Like, total clowns. Yes, even Tipsy Tom didn't give that to them. They had to find on their own, so... Bruno, and it was a picture of him hold, holding his uh his Doberman in front of a church or something like that. Oh, really? I was in front of the nun's house, and he said, "Oh, people just didn't look." It's like, no, nah, I just I'm not sub to John Panisi's channel. I don't fucking watch the guy talk to him or have anything to do with the guy, dude. So I'm not on his community tab or looking on his page, dude. You know, nor would I really care because I wasn't. No, would he really care? Of course you care. This fucking coward lives in Massachusetts. He's a big rat enabler. This motherfucker went down to the Providence courthouse and got some fucking envelope and tried to say I was a fucking rat. And then when the envelope, there was nothing in the envelope. They said it for two years. They just call people rats. He was willing to go down to uh, come to Providence for that, you know. Guy's another stalker. What this? What happened? And I never did nothing to this guy. All I did was debate him about FBS on his friend's channel, and he rage quit, and he started stalking after that. I think he's another half of Fenoik. Around looking for any of it because I really don't care. Dude. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, yeah, you do care. They do. When shit comes out and it's like this, dude, then you start looking like, dude, what the fuck? Like, is this for real right now? And then you're just like, wow, bro. Like, wow, bro. This is fucking. Right, this guy home invaded two 70 year old people. He went to, I have the video, I showed everybody. He ran into two 70 year old people's houses and was running around drunk, crying and shit. Then when he got into the jail cell, he was crying in front of the cops. Same, dude. You know? I know, bro. I know. Neil Costantino said, So you're a fanboy that drove by gangsters' homes, but gangsters sat down in MRE's kitchen, LMAO. Yeah, listen. First of all, my, I told you about my family's history, my grandfather, and who he was best friends with, okay? I'm His grandfather was not best friends with some mob guy. That's bullshit, okay? And this guy's trying to be funny. Uh, yeah, gangsters did sit down at my kitchen table. I grew up around them. So what? I'm saying no more gangs. They're all dead now, R.I.P. But my family wasn't some stalkers. His his was. His father drove him by the John Gotti Social Club when he was only a little kid, and it fucked up his psychosis, and he'll admit that in, a, in this video. And they would stalk mobsters, go around and, like, park and look at them and, like, hey, son, look, that's the Gotti family. It's fucking creepy. I'm not just some kid. I had these people, you know, in my family's lives. You didn't have those people in your family's lives. That's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. It was just like fucking MRE did. Okay. I'm, no, nothing, I'm not going to sit on here and do with a faggy. I know more mafia guys than you do. I knew more mobsters than you. That's gay. Uh, people know what's up. Speaks for itself. Go look at my community page. Give me a break. Talking about my grandfather's best friend was a captain in the Genovese family, ah. directly under Vincent the Chin Giganti. Uh, when he said this, the, the guy that he mentioned, the grandson, went in his chat and dropped comments like, Stop using my grandfather's name. 
Yes. Well, that we'll get to that. He's going to say his aunt was connected to them too and all that shit. It's like your aunt dated them. So what? Like, it's fucking ridiculous. My aunt was involved with these people. I loved, oh my God. Wow. She dated Maury's wigs. The guy Maury's wigs gave her a pen and a few bullets and she saved him and gave them to him. It's fanboy stuff. I, you know, my father knew people. All right. There. Father didn't know people. If he knew people, he wouldn't be stalking the Ravenite or the other club that the guy had and letting you peek out the window. If your father knew them people, you and him would have went over and talked to everybody. And just like when I was a little kid, when we would go to the social clubs, I would play football in the back with the other little kids. We throw the ball around to each other. You know, play wiffle ball, stuff like that. You wouldn't have been stalking them from a car. That's weird. You know, he makes fun because I told the story that when we would drive places like the past place. Listen to this. This is like the Bergen and shit. My dad would point out, you know, like John Jr. standing out front and shit. I still remember seeing John Jr. as a kid. I can tell you exactly what he's leaving out right here. It's not like his father was parked in front and he was talking to people and showing who he was. His father was parked like a block up the street and he was peeping out the back of the window, which is pretty sick. I could see if his father was friends with them. That's different. Like you go to the, see your buddies at the club and you got your son with you. He might go play wiffle ball with the other kids or play toys with them or something. That's not the case. Just straight stalking. Look, he's got Gotti's picture up there. He bought the cologne, stalked the daughter. See what he was wearing. Okay, I remember. You remember these things. Now, what MRE was right about is he said, my dad doing that fucked up my psychosis. And that's a fact. Yeah. Bro. MRE's got me on that. There's no doubt. I don't know what made my dad think it would be cool to point out criminals and tell me about gangster life. Because they weren't his friends. If they were his friends, you wouldn't be calling them criminals and shit. You'd be just be like, my dad took me to see his friends. How do these guys look in the mirror? They don't. They can't. They can't look in the mirror. Yeah, it's absolutely pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. What's up, BK? FBS was sitting on the hood in the station wagon. <laughs> yeah, it's pathetic. And, and the mafia when I was five, I have no fucking idea. But it definitely made me uh, a mafia fanboy. Want to grow up and be a criminal? So I would have rather, you know, he didn't. He hadn't done that. That's what I. I. Uh, but I. Look at a little Hitler mustache, Charlie Chaplin going down. I don't blame it on that. You know what I mean? I grew up and made my own decisions. So he's got a point there, though. That'll definitely... Plus, I got a point. Like I said, if it was normal and you just your dad was visiting his friends, that's nothing. But when your dad don't even know them people and he's parking down the street from a social club of people he don't fucking know and he's got his little eight-year-old son looking out the window and he's like, that's John Gotti Jr., and he never forgot that's weird. God, could you imagine? Like if his dad placed a bet with someone connected to the guy, he'd be spinning it into like his father was in a cell. Of course, of course. These guys are all liars on here. How many people have we seen come on here and lie about being hell's angels, one percenters, mob guys, fucking this and that. And they're all, they turn out to be all fucking liars. Like, like, like I said, anybody who was really around people like that, would not deal with these stool pigeons. Fucking kid up. Like, you shouldn't take your 11-year-old to the movies to see Goodfellas. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But hey, that's how I was raised. Can't do nothing about it. Comment like, oh, well, you got a uh, picture of John Gotti hanging behind, behind you on your wall. Listen, I'm not saying um, that I don't still... Listen. Um, after and mind you, he had a picture of Gotti up here, and he was threatening her his daughter's life. Like this guy threatened Gotti's daughter's life a million times on here. God, what a fucking fanboy! It's like, and then he ripped the Gotti thing off the wall. His friend Soy Smoke ripped up the Gotti picture. They're like, all right, imagine if you liked, I don't know, Guns and Roses and Axl Rose. So let's say the Rolling Stones. You liked Mick Jagger, and all of a sudden Mick Jagger's daughter doesn't want to be your friend and you hate Mick Jagger. That's what this was right here. Because he's a super fanboy. Angel told him what kind of cologne her father wore. He went and bought it. It was so fucking cringe. And then he turned on the lady. In my mind, maybe romanticize that life and that lifestyle a little bit. Especially since I've never lived it. And I look at it from the outside. And 
Uh, people who look at it from the outside in are usually the ones um, who do see it in that type of way, in that light. Like, wow, what an amazing uh, life, what it must have been like to live like that. It's the guys who actually lived it that will tell you, no, no, it's a, uh, except for a douchebag here or there. Uh, most guys will tell you, no, that's not, that's not what you want for your life. And you're lucky you never lived that. Um, like I said. Like John Gotti, for example. <laughs> a lot of things I respect about the man. Um, and my whole life, basically, as a kid and stuff, I absolutely looked up to John Gotti. Wow. And when, when you're uh, you know, in the streets and you're doing your thing. Listen, I respect John Gotti. I never looked up to John Gotti in my fucking life. You know, do I respect the fact that the man took his fucking medicine and went to jail and never cried? He was a tough dude. 100%. But... Like to go fanboy and worship some guy you don't even know on some fanboy level is sick, and then attack his family, attack his daughter is sick. You're always gonna look up to uh, to somebody like John God. I mean, that's just the way it is, and I always will in a lot of ways because there's things about that man that you just don't find in people, especially anymore. Um, but I do always keep in mind now, now that I've gotten older, that all of these guys, every one of them that was a gangster, was a gangster. I mean, wow. first and foremost, a lot of them were excellent family men and, um, you know, fathers. In and like literally two months after this, he was saying, God, he was the worst father in the world the whole night. This kid flip flops like a pancake. Some cases, husbands, uh, things like that. But, you know, they were gangsters also. So, <laughs> Wow, that made no sense. Wow. You know, that's that's the way I see that. So, you know, it depends on how you look at it is, with these, uh, these farm teams and stuff. Farm teams, these people. What is a farm team? Like, these fucking idiots use all these rat lingo. Farm team. Fucking retard. Meet you downstairs. So. Uh, look at the rat's nest. This is the rat's nest. This is where all the stool pigeons go. He stole piggy stool pigeons. <laughs> Say, hey, I, yeah, I need to speak to them. Uh, you know, he's. We need to arrange to meet him down at the floor there. That way, they for sure put him through. Nine four one four seven four. I don't know five, what he's five, doing. Five, trying. Four, four. To, on, I don't know what they're doing right there. Someone's number. Actually, don't do that because uh, <laughs> I was joking. Yeah. Call him. Look at this little chute. She looks like a Backstreet Boy with this little finicky jean jacket and these skinny jeans with all the rips on your fucking thighs. That's some fucking Ricky Yoon fucking shit. This call may be recorded. Look how tight that little jean jacket is. It looks like a Madonna jacket from Over the Borderline. Remember that fucking video? Over the Borderline, I'm going to lose my mind. Wow. Dressing like Madonna. For quality and training purposes. Hurry up. Press one for directions. Direct. Fucking rat lovers. Press three for direction operator. Three. What the fuck are they calling? Does anybody know who these Mama Lukes, these Drazuls are calling over here? In Michael Jackson jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's cashmere. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is pathetic, bro. It is. I don't know who they're calling. Who is this guy? Who is this guy right here? I don't know who this character is. Is he a rat or a rat fanboy? Look at Chuck. Chuck, he looks just like that little mouse on Chuck E. Cheese, Pulse Smoke. His cheeks get bigger every year on here. Operator, you are trying to reach his currently <laughs> another guest. Son of a bitch. You, you lousy bastard. What kind of service is this? Yeah, that's all I'm here. That's all. Wow, this kid couldn't be funny if to save his life. Oh, I hear. for Tony Pizza List, so we ain't answered. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, they're trying to crank call pizza and his mother probably. Because these are the guys who crank called all my family members. They crank call family members and shit. You fucking pussies. Yeah. That I haven't talked about. Go ahead. 
Like that's the thing. Like, yeah, yeah. look at Spanky and his wild do, his little bouffant. Spanky's got a little bouffant right here. Look at this little V dial Sassoon bouffant hairdo. Spanky, and here's the uh mob fanboy wearing Al Capone shirts, Bath Avenue, Jimmy Co wearing all rat shirts. Uh unbelievable. If this guy will make a video about me, probably. And look, I won't respond because it's like I heard way worse shit. Like, what are you gonna say? You call me tomato head? I don't care. Go ahead. He, Nothing I, I said is not true. He might bring out the big guns and say that you wear a wig, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Frankie right. doesn't have a wig. He just has a hair like a chia pet. Ch -ch -ch chia. He looks like Spanky from the Little Rascals. And look at Charlie Chaplin. He's going to do a silent fucking movie over here. Real quick. Uh, Stop it, up, Jeff. Man? Stop it, yo. Sammy's my boy. This guy is high the shit out you. Stop it. I, yo, I, don't, I don't appreciate you talking about my underboss, you know? I, I, I'm I'm part of Sammy's new Garano family. You didn't hear? Us Italians gotta stick together. I slapped the shit on a bitch. Let's go. And, and everybody, look at this crew. This is a, a filthy rat from New York. It's Meghan Markle. That's not Meghan Markle's father. This is not Thomas Markle, folks. This is Frank Fortellini. He's a big catfish stool pigeon. We call him the catfish because he, he uses avatars that are 30 years old and tries to trick girls in the chat to thinking he's good looking. After we showed what he really looked like, some girl that watches their show came over and goes, oh, my God, I thought he was like a handsome guy. Like when I seen him, I didn't think he was that fat. And he really does look like Meghan Markle's father, Thomas fucking Markle. And this guy, uh, this guy's not all there. He's mentally ill. This dude, he looks like a fucking hamster. And all that fucking, look at that. Oh my God. He's not all there, this dude. What do you think? Organized crime is bigger than it actually is. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I got a friend of mine that just gave me a, um, I've never seen mafia fanboys like in mob groupies like this in my life. Gave me a a a a a. He just uh, gave me a, 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 a shout out. Um, talking about another rat. He he's a fan of yours, by the way, FBS. And he was oh, he's a fan. He's talking about Howie Santos. Howie Santos is another filthy stool pigeon who put people in jail. And Howie Santos is famous for this. Howie Santos is famous for sexually for taping his girlfriend or his ex-wife, taping his ex-wife and him having sex. And this is true. Taping his wife having sex and without her knowing, and then inviting all of his friends over to eat White Castle burgers and watch the sex tapes. How fucking degenerate is that? You just dishonored this woman, dishonored yourself, you rat bastard. But watch, he's talking about that rat, Howie. We'll see him in a second, too. He looks like Elephant Boy from Howard Stern. You'll see him. He's involved with um, the Howard Beach organized crime and shit like that. You'd love to talk to him. Oh. Frank, you sound like a child sometimes. You sound like a little kid. You sound like a... You sound like a Ricky Schroeder from Silver Spoons when he was about 10 years old, stuck in Meghan Markle's father's body. I should call him. Look at him. Look at the halfwit. Look at the gerbil, the hamster, the halfwit. He's looking off somewhere. This guy is famous for boofing marijuana. He puts marijuana. And he'll tell you. He's going to tell you how he defecated out the marijuana and got high off of it. He's going to tell you that. Maybe in this video or the next, he's going to tell you he's not all there. So I kind of feel bad for him. He's slow. He's sort of like Emmy in a way. He, he will actually tell us how he boofs marijuana and then poops it out and sniff. It's insane. You think I'm lying. Watch. Man, you want to talk to him? Yeah, absolutely. All right. This is um, okay. He was around um, one, Ronnie one arm was around. Always dropping names, stool pigeon, huh? The uh, organized crime from Howard Beach. If he's willing to come in, um, okay. How can we? Uh, how can we have this? What if you call him? I mean, he can. You can uh, put him on the phone. Put him on speaker. Yeah, he was a he was a big guy. Too. Is he comfortable talking? 
Yeah, he he's a big fan of FBS. That's how I got to know him. Yeah, he there you go. NBA, he yeah, he's a big fan of Piggy, of course. All the rats. See, back then, Piggy ran the rat's nest back then. But see, what the rats did, what Howie, Howie's probably got the strongest personality out of the rats in the rat squad. Uh, Frank loves Howie, worships Howie. All these guys worship Howie. But what Howie did was he took all the rats away from Piggy's channel and brought them to Pulse Smokes. And Pulse Smoke is like the rat's nest now. Piggy can't get that many rats on no more. And Casey goes and uh, and gives fellatio to Howie. Oh, actually, uh, which he's done before around here verbally. Nadu, when he told him that that's how he met me, not how he met me, how he connected to me uh, over 20 years. He's a big fan of yours. Uh, he's not a fan of the guy. Yeah. yeah um, and back then it was the bit, all these guys were teaming up for like, you know, to go after uh, Gotti's daughter back then. Cause they were all the big Gotti fanboys. And then once the daughter didn't want to be, uh, didn't agree with them, uh, they turned on her. Fuck, however you want to do it, we can get him to grab the link. Well, and he just sent me. He just sent me a, a message. Imagine being this happy and excited. Look at Piggy's hands are between his legs. Look, like, look at the body. Look at the. Oh my god! And look at this guy staring off into space. Imagine being that thrilled that some stool pigeons. And remember when this guy first came around, he hated stool pigeons. Fucking weirdos. Okay. Attack. Uh yeah 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 how how can we do this how can we do it? like you don't even know how oh my god you want to do it tonight or another night yeah let's do it now all right, all right so does he bring him on he said okay he says he can't he won't come on he's a little giddy right now but I can say who he is he's a little giddy Howie Santos the big tough guy was a little giddy he was a little giddy like a fucking schoolgirl yeah it's a big circle jerk TFs shout out to the beautiful Romanians out there. Yeah, that stone sailor, that's the hamster. He's not all there. And he's going to tell us how he, after he he goes to the bathroom, after inhaling marijuana and putting marijuana in his butthole, he gets to smell the marijuana. It's fucking, yeah, giddy, like a little fucking schoolgirl. Okay. Is that fine? Ain't yeah. that fine? Look, ain't that fine? Kenny, what do you got? A speech impediment? You sound like Jimmy Smash Mouth. Remember Tony Soprano? Yum, 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 Jimmy Smash. All right, it's Howard Santos. He was um Ronnie uh one arms, one hand one, you know. <laughs> he was uh, Ronnie one arms, one uh one hand, uh Megan Markle, Harry, Harry. Partner in crime. No, he, oh, wasn't. Really? he wasn't his partner in crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was around um Howie's a filthy rat. Howie's gonna say on here, I ratted because they had no excuses. And his but then he's gonna tell you his excuse. He's gonna say because they wouldn't make him. How can you get made? Like the mob's not around no more. But when it was around back in the 80s, how can you get made if you're not Italian? Like it's yeah, you know, it's not even like your father's Italian and your mother's Puerto Rican. You're Puerto Rican. How are you gonna get made in an Italian family? You know what I mean? Like. It may blows my mind. So that's the reason he ratted. No, the reason they tell on people because they're scared to go to jail. Ain't that right, Jimmy the Helmet? Wolf ticket? Wolf ticket. Wolf ticket. You're going to go kill me, beat me up. You're going to have these gimps beat me up. Where are you, you fucking coward? I don't run from nothing. I'm not a gangster. I'm not a tough guy. Nothing like that. I've never ran for nothing in my life. You stalk is like making threats. You all look stupid. I'm going to abuse Jimmy again this week on here. Um, uh, I think I was said I was going to wait two weeks until Jimmy's original video and do the wolf ticket video. It's coming soon. He was around Woodhaven. He was around, believe it or not, uh, John, uh, Johnny A. Light. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, look him up. Johnny A. Light, the biggest rat bastard around that this guy used to hate in the beginning, and then they became friends. Fucking idiot. A light even said his wife should be raped. All kinds of sick shit. And look at this. Look at this stumbling fucking Dunsky. This miserable. He doesn't know where the fuck he is. All he can think about is TH fucking C 24 7. He's a good guy. He's a big fan of your, your show. He says everything you do to, to against uh, a certain individual. If he's meaning me, everything you, uh, I don't know if he means me an angel, everything. So Howie, everything's piggy does how he agrees with not anymore. Howie, the rat, Howie, the king rat over there, uh, took piggy's rats away. 
Oh, and Mickey Griggs did stop Mob Tube up. I remember watching the exact video. Piggy and Lee Cole were on Lee Cole's channel. Lee Cole Leone, the boss of Florida. They were on Lee's channel. And Mickey Griggs in the chat said, Mob Tube is a cool name. Piggy looked at it and goes, oh, wow, that's a cool name. I'm going to use it. Which, no problem. There's people that fucking gave me pointers and said shit that I use. Sammy the Bi, Rat Trap City made that up. Uh, there's a bunch of funny things that people made up that I use. You know? I don't claim it that I, I created it. It's correct. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm pulled that by up. Mob Tube is a bunch of faggotry. It's a bunch of funoikery, if you think about it. It's a bunch of fanboys and rat lovers platforming rats to tell their rat stories. Other people too who were around during that time, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Howie was Howie was a shooter. He's a tough. What's up, Bay Eight? What's up, Dave? Guy, um, a lot of people knew. Look at this guy. Look at this feminine son of a bitch caressing his beard with his eyes closed. Where's his other hand? And what's going down? Look at this feminine chooch. Like I said, he's a little wet in the brain. He's not all there, this guy. He's slow. Um, I just reconnected him because of your show. <laughs> he's, they, oh, a Piggy's channel brings rats together. Wonderful. Where every rat knows your name. Buy into his bullshit, man. Because you've got to think, he's fluffed himself up in all these stupid Netflix, putting them on there and stuff. Remember Paulie D's like, you're, you're like, you're jacked and you're on Netflix. Like. That's what I was telling you. Yeah. Some of those guys have no fucking proof well, of it. They get, they get, uh, they get, uh, what you call it? Uh, thank you for that. And now this is me back in the day when we first started our channels. I was friendly with this guy and I was friendly with him too until I stopped going into this slob's chat, this rat's chat, because he's a fucking rat too. Uh, he's called, he's, he's told peace dots, people's children, then tell, and then offer them $1,400 to come fight him. And we'll show you him bleed like a pig. Uh, and then they come to his house, beat his ass. He calls the cops on them, goes in ambulance rides. We'll watch that. But this is me basically talking to these two fucking, uh, drazzles. Produced by these guys, just like the yeah. PC guy and the guy, Tom, the guy, Tom is like in love with Panisi uh like if oh my god i've seen I, I, i've been watching some videos of them guys it's just like it's amazing they get some nitro mob rat hunter what's up dude used by these mob these mob guys these mob rats are pretty slick they know how to seduce certain people you know what i mean yes and that's just what they did to this tub of shit he started fighting with me over jimmy calandra i never did nothing to this rat bastard especially these groupie types it's like oh i'm friends with the they get seduced and they become their lackeys just chilling what's up bro yeah, so hey guys my grandmother's calling me i hear her upstairs she bangs on the floor so i gotta go it's like the year i was on here i basically just did shows by myself now here's the rats the old rat's nest this is the old rat's nest. This is the guy, Howie Santos, who ate White Castle burgers with his friends while watching his wife and him fornicate. And there's Paul Smoke. Look at he's dressed up in some fur coat with his suit. He's this kid's one goofy, cringy bass. And this is Mr. Fentanyl. He picks his scabs and eats them and gets high. Here's the fake wise guy from Detroit who lives in California and said he was John Gotti's colleague and the mob would have gave him the okay to kill Gotti's daughter. I don't know who these two gimps are, but look at Elephant Boy. Anybody ever watch Howard Stern, Elephant Boy? Tell me that ain't him. No, no I could just get up and go do shit, take care of Yeah, them. this go is good. We're building up. We're building up. A watch how cringy this is. See, what he's talking about right here is – Look, now I got all these people, all these rats on my channel. I used to have to stream before. It's so good now. Howie took that away from you and gave it to the soy boy. He gave it to the soy boy. Now the rat's nest is on the soy boy channel with all the fucking rats and flip-flop and fucking cowards and hypocrites. Strong crew over here. We got Our gang is growing. Listen to these guys. I'll rewind it for a second because I'm talking a lot. They are talking, literally fantasizing about being mobster. Listen to how cringy, immature, and fucking stupid this is right here. These are grown fucking men. Uh, we're building up. Oh, and informants, too, so they don't count as men. A, a strong crew over here. We got Our gang is growing. Hell yeah. Wow. 
Our gang is growing. Imagine LARPing this hard. LARPing is called live action role play. You know how like I do it. I dress up as a medieval knight and me and my friends hit each other with swords. Kind of nerdy. Yup. But this is live action role play is wanting to be mobsters. They're talking like they got a gang. Listen, I'll shut up. Hey, yeah. Kyle, yeah. Let me tell you, they're, they're scared, but that, they don't want to see that shit. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to get indicted by the feds. Oh, bro, I've been telling Gunsmoke that for six months, bro. There's going to yeah. be Operation Mob, me, and I'm going to be the first person in there. Yeah, yeah. Why would the feds arrest you? You are all cop callers and rats. Yeah. Me and, uh, me, remember, uh, Chris, we were talking about that? Yeah, yeah. Like a, 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 a 25 state round off. Uh, <laughs> school, they're going to have the fat boss of and be walking them out of the house with it. And, and over in Florida, South Florida, and he got the stupid pony so Florida walking him yeah. out. And over in Texas, they got the lead of Did fucking you? lion kidnapper. Well, great minds think alike, foolish flock. Great minds think alike. Just chilling, my bro. What's up, dude? It's when gonna be someone, a, uh, bro. It's gonna be a fucking three million page indictment. When hey, someone, I'm, I'm, uh, why don't why don't we all uh, before get why don't we just all tell on Lee? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I get ain't gonna have a chance. I, I'm immediately saying Lee Cole was behind whatever. I'm cooperating again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm again. I'll, I'll yeah. be like that guy, Alan. How's it going, Carol? Glick or whatever. I, I was being extorted. I'll tell you everything you want to know. <laughs> Look how cringy. If this guy was really connected to the Detroit mob and cartels, would he be up here with all these informants? Hell no. See, these guys are weirdos. Like, same with a lot of these people. They don't like you. They'll run right to the informants. If I don't like somebody, I'm not going to run to the... I will never be friends with a rat or deal with a rat. A de never in my life have I ever dealt with a rat or would deal with one. They're disgusting fucking people. When Josh Gotti was uh, suggested he maybe get, you know, somebody to use as a lightning rod, he told Angel to go on the roof with a golf club. Now, here, look at this junkie motherfucker making fun of Gotti's daughter. But now he's in her chat kissing ass. Now he goes in her chat and kisses her ass. These guys are all fucking phonies. All fucking phonies. Men of no constitution or integrity. We can say that about all these guys. No constitution or integrity. They can't say that about me and my buddies who stream. None of us have stuck each other in the back, doxed each other, turned on each other, badmouthed each other. These guys are fucking drazuls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking miserable. Got this butter and everything. Uh, once, listen to now. Here's where he's going to talk about butter and boofing uh, marijuana. He's slow, mind you. The guy sailor's not all there, so... Cannabis butter and everything, and I put my cannabis butter and everything, and I infuse stuff. The truth, bro, I'm gonna be disgusting, but I'm hey, listen, he infused it means he boofed it, he put it in his backside. I'm gonna tell you, like, when I when I take a dump, like, later, like, I get high again in the morning. Uh. I'm trying to get when I have to, when I have to, fucking, you know, when I go to the bathroom, uh. all those edibles, when they come out of me, it gets me high again. Gets wow. Let's read that back. And this isn't this guy's not all there. He's threatened women. He said that the woman Brittany should be gang banged. He said it right on stream. He said, I got five Marines coming home and we're all gonna go gang bang Brittany. Like Brittany's gonna let you do that to her. So basically that's rape. I don't know any men who come. Oh, there's a lot of them on here. These guys that come on here and threaten these women with sexual attacks is cowardly. I can argue and debate and fight with a woman. You will never hear me say, I hope you get raped. I hope you get sexually assaulted. Now listen to this degenerate. Everything and I infuse stuff. The truth, bro, I'm going to be disgusting, but I'm going to tell you, like, when I when I take a dump, like, later, like, I get high again uh. in the morning. Trying to get, when I have to, when I have to fucking, you know, when I go to the bathroom, Ugh. all those edibles, when they come out of me, it gets me high again. Gives me like a reflash. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for five minutes, Lefty, and I come back and Stone Sailor's talking like that. What's up with that? No, man. I don't know, man. I didn't. I I wasn't the one talking about butt high fucking smoking weed. Yeah, like yeah, these guys are not talking about like he he'll just shoot it. He'll just shoot needles in his toes and shit. This guy will literally put marijuana in his ass. None of it's good, but putting edibles in your backside and then pooping them out and getting high again is very degenerate and sick. Uh, 
you need to go back into that home. Do your butt and stuff. Big brother Charles, what's up, big brother Charles? What's going down? I, when I make like spaghetti and meatballs with infused mm -hmm. and all that stuff, when I go to the bathroom, that shit comes out. It get hit. It gives me a reflash. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fucking so that, that was disgusting. What day? Because. Yeah. All right, now this is Pizza and Mac. What are Pizza and Mac talking about? Pizza put out a hit on Piggy from a tent. Pizza, a guy who lives in a fucking tent, put out a hit on Piggy. And Johnny and a few other guys went over there and beat Piggy up. <laughs> you know what? He might even try to get into the witness protection program with his rat friends. Mm -hmm. So he could join Jimmy. Bro, Tony, 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 stop it, bro. He fucking invited us there. He rushed me. He got his nose busted. Nobody's making a federal case out of a bloody fuck. Yeah, well, he called the cops. He's This guy is right what he said. He went to his house, gave him, him and his buddies gave him a bloody nose. They beat up Piggy and Piggy called the cops. Piggy did go call the cops, but Piggy, when it was time to go to court, Piggy was too embarrassed to go to court and face those guys because they were going to take videos of him and pictures of him. So he didn't go to court. He made up this big lie that the judge hates him so much and the prosecutors hate him. It's like, what? It makes no fucking sense. Fucking nose, bro. That's all it is. In the street, if somebody abuses you, you hurt them. You do something to them. Shoot up their house like their fucking car on fire. Listen. Beat him with a fucking... He's telling you what you should do if somebody fucks with you. And then we're going to see him bleed like a pig. Baseball bat. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. But you don't run to the cops or the lawyers or any fucking buddy else. I wow. How does he... How can you say... Anybody who watches him say he has integrity. Here he is telling you, you should never call the cops and do all this shit. And then watch what I play in a fucking few minutes. I guess I'm, maybe I'm not built for this YouTube thing because this is a bunch of people who claim to be something they're not. They're tough guys. They're tough girls. They're this, they're that. They're straight. The kid's also going to tell us how he ran and shot at trucks up the street. The guys, they come from a family full of killers, whatever it may be. Oh, Pignatius squeal. When the seeds materialize right in front of your eyes. Yeah. Listen, Sessa had him by the cheeks in that picture. He wouldn't even fight back. Hey, look at Droopy Dog. This is a cocksucker with the lazy eye right here. Droopy Dog. This is the gangster from Detroit. He's at a swimming pool with all old ladies and shit. He's a sick dude. Ask you not to reap it with the land. Yeah. He was at a senior citizen swimming pool. And nothing against that. I'd go swim in a senior citizen swimming pool too. But I'm not telling you I'm a cartel member and a Detroit mob guy. That you will come riding on the town. And they'll lay you down low. And uh, I was convinced that the person responsible for this tragedy was going to come back. Maybe lightning strike. All right, now he's going to talk about how he's going to how he shot at people and all this stuff, and then he's going to watch the hypocrisy and what a liar this fucking kid is. It's twice. What's you up, know? Shady J? I'll just tell you this tragedy took place at my house at the time, right? And uh, I was convinced that the person responsible for this tragedy was going to come back. What was the tragedy? Did he ever tell people what the tragedy is? Uh, he said the guy, remember the guy, I think the guy he's talking about is the guy he said he had murder beef with, whatever that means, murder beef. Uh, and he's seen the guy walking in clubs and said hi to him or something stupid. But he's going to tell us he shot at him. 
Awesome. Maybe lightning strikes twice, you know? I was so fucking nuts, guys, that I would sit in my backyard overnight against my garage with an <laughs> ounce of Coke, a half gallon of rum, and two 380s. Yeah. And I would just wait because I was convinced that this person will be back. And when he's well, if some, all right, let's say if you're a, if you're in that world, why are you sitting in your backyard waiting for the gunman to come to your house? Why aren't you going out and get the guy if he's going to try to kill you? This story's all fucking lies. There's, there's probably a tenth of truth to this story. He probably was doing coke and rum. <laughs> back, I can fucking kill him. I can take his life. That was my dream. That's all I cared about. I was hyper fucking focused on revenge. I wanted this person to die. Well, then why don't you leave your fucking yard? How are you going to accomplish that by sitting in your backyard? And I was geeking. I was coked up. I was out of my fucking mind. I was paranoid because I don't know, you know, I'm looking around me, you know, being careful just in case. And uh, I did crazy shit. One time a van drove by and a like, diseased cocaine was in mind. I, I thought the guy is in the van, you know, and I run down the street shooting at this fucking van. Now, let's listen to that again. Now, Piggy's no, Piggy said he shot at he said he said he was sitting in his yard and he shot into a crowd of people. But now he's going to tell us he chased a van down the street shooting at a van. He chased the van down the street shooting at it. That's not true, people. We all know. He would have got arrested. So the bullets, when you shoot bullets, they hit houses. They, they, they go through walls and hit innocent people. You just can't shoot bullets at a, at a truck or a van. He shoot, yeah, right. You're running down the street shooting bullets at the van. No neighbors looked out the window and seen you and said, yeah, my neighbor just shot at that van. Well, where'd those bullets go? None of your neighbors got bullets through their fucking houses and called the cops? Like, you started shooting bullets at all these vans, the van, firing bullets. So it makes no sense. The cops would have been called. Uh, you know, those bullets go places. They hit houses. Makes no fucking sense. Yeah, what movie was that from? Yeah, now he does drive-bys, but he's going to forget he told this lie fucking sicko and i was geeking i was I'm coked up i was out of my f i was so fucking nuts guys that i would sit in my backyard overnight against my garage with an ounce of coke a half gallon of rum and two 380s and i would just wait because i was convinced that this person will be back and when he's back i can fucking kill him i can take his life that was my dream. That's all I cared about. I was hyper fucking focused on revenge. I wanted this person to die. And I was geeking. I was coked up. I was out of my fucking mind. I was paranoid because I don't know, you know, I'm looking around me, you know, being careful just in case. And uh, I did crazy shit. One time a van drove by and in my diseased cocaine driven mind, I, I thought the guy is in the van. You know, and I run down the street shooting at this fucking <laughs> And it probably was nobody. There was another time. Well, was, wow, he don't even know how to lie. I can't get into this. He can't some... get into this. You Wait, hold on. You can't get into that. You just told everybody you ran down the street shooting at a van. What if those bullets say that's true, which it's not. One of those bullets could have killed a neighbor and they don't know who did it. Could be a cold case. Now you just told me he never did. That's fucking a lie, a lie. Something else, you know. I did um, uh, out of revenge. There was many things actually. I was. What you do out of revenge and jealousy is crank call people and call feds and call the cops on people. Well, when you get beat up, you call the cops on people and you go in an ambulance and try to sue them and the whole nine. That's a bitch move. That's a rat move. Collecting, especially telling us you're this big street guy. You're a, one one week you're a gangster, a street guy. The next day you're a civilian. This dude just grew up watching too many fucking mob movies and comes from a mafia fanboy groupy family. Just where he comes from. An arsenal at the time. I'll tell you that much. He had an arsenal. Um, I I wanted uh Where? Ah uh, well. I can't say too much. You can't say too much. You just told us you shot at a van. You you wigged a bunch of bullets at a van going down your street. So you could basically say anything. I, like, what the fuck? Can't say too much. Because the story's not true. And 
I mean, he told us about the guy he had murder beef with. Remember? Murder beef. And remember, it was the hold me back thing. He wanted to go kill him, but his girlfriend and his mom stopped him. Number one, if you want to go kill somebody, how the fuck would your girlfriend and mother even know? Those are the last two people you tell. Yeah, mom, I'm going to go kill somebody. Uh, like, what the fuck? Who tells that? Who would worry their own mother like that? A pussy. He wanted. He said that because he wanted his mother and his girlfriend to stop him. Because obviously, any of us said to our girlfriends and mother, "We're gonna go kill somebody." Of course, they're gonna jump in front of you and say, "No, no, no." But if you really wanted revenge and to go hurt that guy, he would have went and did it, not told his mommy about it. And not only that, he told another story where he's seen that guy in a DJ club before, and they just seen each other and gave dirty looks. He didn't go punch the guy or nothing. We know what he is. He knows what he is. So that ruined everything. It ruined everything in my life because I couldn't get over it. It was so fucking heartbreaking and sad. What was? And it hurt so bad that I uh, wasn't able to stop this from happening. Stop. You know? And now that it did happen, there's nothing I can do about it, no matter how hard I try. It destroyed me. <laughs> got me there that I talk about and I've talked about shooting that got me there that I all right now he's gonna switch the shooting story up this is a different day this is a different shirt now watch how the stories change and everything changed this kids a fucking caca a fucking bullshit artist just like the rest of them but I've talked about for a long time now that they can't believe thing that got me there that I talk shooting that got me there but the shooting that got me there that I talk about and I've talked about for a long time now, what shit? that they can't believe. Because in their eyes, that makes me like tough or a gangster or some shit, which I was not a gangster. Okay. Never even close. But that makes me like a, a, a street guy. And they don't want me to be that. Huh? They don't want me to be a guy who actually did these things. Did what thing? Shoot at vans and stuff? Nobody believes it. But... Regardless of what you say, it doesn't change a thing. How come? Let me ask you something. How come? And I don't give a fuck what that dude said. I never said definitively that I shot somebody and I know I shot somebody. Never, ever in a million. I did not. Why not, though? Why not say that? The only thing I talked about is shots fired out of crowd when I was so fucking wasted. I don't even know. If See, he's acting. See, he don't remember telling the story about shooting at the van. So now the only shooting story is him shooting into a crowd of people. No van story, though. The van's gone now. Though, Why not say that? The only thing I talked about is shots fired out of crowd when I was so fucking wasted. I don't even know if it, it went near the crowd. And all I know is the next day, somebody uh, that night on Union Street got shot in the fucking leg. I, all right. So he's saying right here, the only shooting he was involved with was shooting at a crowd of people in his backyard uh and now a guy got shot where's the van story about trotting down the street shooting at the van see these liar when you here's what happens when you tell lies it's hard to remember that's why i don't make lies up <laughs> number one it's just not good and number two i can't remember these shit shit and just like he can't so he forgets the stories he tells in the chat you know they're just a bunch of fucking sheep they act like they believe him like, nobody call him out on it. You know what I'm saying? I never, ever claimed that was me. And I don't even know if that's what he's talking about. <laughs> but they can't, like, they'll believe what they want to believe. Like, they have, they'll have they never say, nah, you weren't a cocaine addict or an alcoholic. Because that makes me look bad. But then when I say, I used to torch cars of my enemies. No, no, no. I no. used to torch cars. I don't believe that. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. The way you acted when you got punched in the face, and we'll show you what he did. Crying in front of your mother bleeding getting beat up in front of your son and getting beat up in front of your mom and your mother screaming i told you this was going to happen and you called the cops and you cried like a little baby no he didn't you know what i mean no he didn't no he didn't um anything the, the home invasion which i'm telling you <laughs> the level i was working at that home invasion was nothing all right so the the level he was working at in the streets that home invasion was nothing this kid never did a home invasion. Like, who the fuck even brags about doing a home invasion? It was nothing. Okay? 
and I would I would honestly call it a robbery. Home invasion is just what they started calling, uh, you know, shit like that. That type of crime. families protesting out, and there should be victims' families protesting outside your house. You fucking pig. All right here's him attacking Angel Gotti right here. Look how he talks about grandmothers. Look how he talks about somebody's mother. And everybody else in your fucking family. Like I said before, all you gaudy scumbags should get in a fucking clown car and drive off a cliff. We'd be better off with each one of you dead. I Remember, this is last year, and I believe now he's kissing ass again. It's, it's just unbelievable. These people are all phonies on here. All the people in the chat, all these people are fucking phonies, man. I swear to God, I, and I can't hope, I can't wait, Angel, till I drive you to the point where you have a massive fucking stroke and die on your- Shame on you, motherfucker. Shame on- Now, this is a kid who went on screen saying his mom was dying in two weeks and made the mother live for a hundred years. God bless her. I don't wishing death on nobody's mom like he does. He wishes death on mothers, grandmothers. Fucking unbelievable, man. Your kitchen floor with a fucking donut in your mouth, you fat fucking cunt pig. Wow, what a fucking coward. Exactly. Everybody <laughs> in here the longest. And listen, and you know, we stopped and I don't I, I tend to not talk about the man anymore. He hasn't talked about me, but we cannot deny what JC is. JC yeah. has been JC since the beginning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everybody knows what JC is. Carlos is right. JC has been JC from the beginning. JC is the fake Detroit mob guy, droopy dog with the droopy eye, lives with his mother. He is. <laughs> sonny, sonny, bro. Bro. We've experienced him. My brother Nelson is on the screen. We had him come into oh, our show. Oh, please. Tell us. Tell us. One Wild second. In the goddamn green room, acting like he was a, a, in an MRE avatar and right, wrote the most despicable race. Yeah, what Carlos is saying right here is JC was going into Carlos's chat uh, and writing a bunch of like shit, calling him probably all kinds of racial names and shit, using my avatar. So try to make it like was me. So imagine this big Detroit mob guy is on YouTube with fake avatars. Like, give me a break, you fucking clown. Just comment somebody could write in the no fly zone and didn't oh, wow. think that the camera was gonna catch Shut him. JC will troll. JC got about thirty of troll accounts. He'll troll all day and act and deny it. It's a fact. I, yeah, I Carlos is right right there. JC will do that. Hold on, let me read this. Just like when FBS claimed that you bought his aunt Lucy. You brought his Aunt Lucy into your guy's beef, was making up stories about her when he was the first one who brought... Yes, exactly. I didn't make up no stories. He's the one who said his aunt was given pens and his aunt used to, let's say, date, sleep around, whatever you want to call it with these guys or whatever. And that's how she gave him, you know, Maury's wigs from the Goodfellas. That's how uh, she got the pen from Maury's wigs and a few bullets and... He still got the pen or something weird. And uh, he put that up. He said that about his aunt. And he pulls up people's mothers and uh, ex-girlfriends, shit like that. Who's not going to make fun of that? And you put that on YouTube. Nobody looked up his family to find that. He told that story. Jesus Christ. And I called it the sexual sit-down because he said, he said his grandfather, who well, he said his aunt was sleeping with these mob guys and then told the mob guys' wives that they were cheating on them. So the mob guys wanted to have her killed. So his grandfather went to the, I don't know, some guy his grandfather knew and asked for a sit-down. So wouldn't that be a sexual sit-down, right? Like you're sitting down to talk about sex stuff, about this woman sleeping with these men and causing these troubles. It's, just, it's a sexual sit-down. Like that's just, just what it is. Like, you called a sit-down over sexual stuff, which there would never even be. There would never be a sexual sit-down, number one, okay? His grandfather would have would have been humiliated when everyone done that. It's weird. And I doubt they wanted to kill his aunt. They don't go killing women. I got no problem calling out his bullshit. You know, I was... And, that's and this is the goof Carlos is talking about right here. Droopy dog. Look at Benjamin Button when he was first born as an old man. He looks like he's 75 years old, this guy. Look at the fucking years of wear and tear on his face. This guy said he worked with cartels. He was a Detroit mob boss. But yeah, I went and found back in 2016, he was doing these like 
these like political shows and shit like that. And he didn't mention none of that. He was telling them he was a perfect citizen and the whole nine. He's just another fucking fake on here. How many fake gangsters have we seen? The trios, the fucking Ramundis, the fucking, how many fake fucking people have we seen on here? The fake one percenters, the fake hell's angels, the fake boxers, Tony Tranbo, Sibilio, you fucking freak. Crying about people, you you dirty motherfucker. I better not see you on any channel because I will pop on there and expose your ass for fucking doxing uh, a mother who lost her child. Giving up some mother who lost her child to your ape friend, you fucking phony. Keep spending your money for your friendship, you fucking phony. My introduction, I was an associate Listen. for the Detroit Partnership out here in Cali. I am from Fresno. I'm not from Detroit. Some people get that mixed. <laughs> okay, how the fuck are you in the Detroit mob if you're not from Detroit, you fucking goof? There is no mob anymore anyways. These fanboys and these people with these faggy, stupid mafia channels want you to believe there's the mob out there and all that shit. That shit's been done for years, over for years, man. Stop. Um, I used to help them get Mexican weed since but from, you know, across the border. And we get it back there. This was in the 1990s. I ended up... Um, I, I ended up handling casino nights out here. I was uh -huh. doing dice action. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. The guys out in this area. And I did other types of stuff, too. Back in the day, I was, you know, I, I have a couple of burglary pinches. On my first one. Burglary pinches. This guy's so stupid. He lives with his mother. He's an antenna salesman. He sells antennas. Do you know what charge he has on him? Drinking and driving with his child, with his daughter. That's what pinch he has, is pinch. They try to talk like fucking these mob movies and shit. This is the most... You motherfuckers are the cringiest people I've ever seen. What's up, C-Vids, my bro? What's up, dude? Listen to this. Was it 16? I had another one a little bit after my 18th birthday. Uh, I was involved with GTAs a bit. I was a tagger for a while. I grew up in... The he was a tagger! He's trying to tell us he was a bomber. He was a tagger. He's trying to say he was a graffiti artist. Come on, dude. You're a fucking, fucking white guy. Fucking, you're not even like a little hip hop wankster kid. Like, I highly doubt you were uh, out graffiti bombing and tagging with the homies. Give me a break. Like I said, 2016, I seen your fucking episodes. I'll play them again where you want all the Mexicans deported for Christ's sakes. So it's like, how the fuck do you uh, work for the cartel, but you want your friends deported? This guy's, he was acting like the perfect citizen back then. Fucking clown. Parkside area of Fresno, Parkside Fresno. So there's more tangles around us. Ah, there were there were dogs, there were TRGs, there were loud boys. There were, you know, all just all different types. And, and look at this guy believe in this shit. Boy, I want to sell you a bridge over in Newport. I'm going to lease it to you for six months. So it's a wild world. You end up in a lot of crazy places when you do all this crazy stuff. And you'd be amazed on who you end up meeting. One side or the other side. It's to, to these guys who oh, risked it all. Defeating the Nazis and saving the world. If the Nazis weren't stopped... They would have developed atomic bombs. It's like they would have dropped them around the... This kid's a communist right here. He's got all things of Che Guevara, Mao Zedong. He loves communism. He's a Marxist communist. He's a stalker also. He stalks the Gotti family. Uh, he's a big stalker. Uh, I guess Gotti Jr. kicked him to the curb, didn't want to deal with him no more. He started stalking uh, Angel. Uh, he hates me. He's the one who doxes me and puts all those lies up about me. Uh, he's a sick puppy. He also has crushes on these mob guys' family members. He had a huge crush on Angel's daughter. And there was another girl he was sending flowers to, this girl Jackie. But the girls don't like him. They think he's a clown. He's goofy. They, they think he's ugly inside and out. So he looks like Carlos Mencia. Guy changed his name three fucking times. <laughs> he went from Diaz to George to Chris Gasparosa. The plan. We'd be living in a different universe today. Who knows how things would have, would have, what would have happened? Well, you know, me, I, I don't. As uh, this is the rat's nest, the new rat's nest. There's M Meghan Markle's father, 
a 30 year old pitcher catfish. Don't know who this guy is, but he has Elephant Boy from Howard Stern, Howie Santos. Watch how he says why he ratted on people because they wouldn't make him a made member in the mob. Well, you're not even Italian, Howie. So what the fuck? Give no excuses why I cooperated because every fucking morning I wake up, I think up of another excuse why. Listen to that. I have no excuses, but every morning I wake up with another excuse. Like, wow. Cringe city. They would have developed atomic bombs. It's like they would have dropped them around the planet. We they did develop the atomic bomb, you stupid fuck. The V2 rocket, Walter Von Braun. <laughs> Where do you think Walter Von Braun was from, and who do you think he worked for? He helped make the V2 rocket to go to space, you dummy. We live in a different universe today. Who knows how things would have, would have, what would have happened. Look at him sitting in a car waiting for his boyfriend. You know, me, I, I don't give no excuses why I cooperated. Because me. every fucking morning I wake up, I think up of another excuse why I cooperated. <laughs> but I don't I don't I don't say it. It is what it is. I'm not gonna make excuses for it like other people do. And um like, I did what I had to do for me. Does that make any sense? Like elephant boy, are you out of your mind? At the time. You can't straighten me out. You're not going to straighten me out. All right. I didn't take a note. So you know. All right. So you don't make me, you don't straighten me out. I'm going to tell on you. What the fuck? Why would you deal with them in the first place? Let's say there is a my web. Why would you deal with them? You know, they're not going to make you. You're not Italian. So what the fuck? Just another. Imagine that. I get no excuses, but I think of every excuse every morning. Fucking rat. Rat fuck. But, um, yeah. Gunsmoke, yo, you sleeping? Not me. That's fucking uh, the other guy over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with you, but it sounded like you really <laughs> was sleeping. <laughs> Gunsmoke, yo, you sleeping? Not me. That's fucking uh, the other guy over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking with you, but it sounded like you really <laughs> was sleeping. <laughs> because. Of this window being open a lot, especially in the summer when I'm ranting and raving like a lunatic, I've already had to explain to my neighbors what I do. So they don't think I'm in here screaming at my wife. Like okay. It's I have funny. To my name the neighbors found out what happened when they seen you get beat up. Neighbors from across the yard have heard me out in the yard before on SoFlo, and I've had to tell them to. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. I had to approach this guy. I never spoke to him. I was walking his dog. I was like, bro, can yeah. you come here for a second? I got to... I said, I do this thing on YouTube, and yeah, I know, you know it's I'm, I'm yelling, and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He said, "What? What do you talk about?" I said, "The mafia." He said, "Oh, you're making friends, are you? You know what I mean?" So they know. Okay, <laughs> what are you going to tell them that I once threatened to slap a bitch? Good, I'll threaten to slap one of my neighbors. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. Wow, Big Tough is going to slap his neighbors. This guy is such a queen. MRE, uh, we can easily call. Oh, he's talking about me now. Hold on. Now he's watch what he says right here. We can easily crank call my family. Fucking goof. I'll threaten to slap one of my neighbors. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. MRE, uh, we can easily call your family's jobs. Huh? All of I got some news for you, Zaya. You know what I mean? So they know. <laughs> call my family's jobs. That's fucking gay. That's fucking stupid. Call my family's jobs. You don't even know my family or where they fucking work, stupid. Now, imagine this, like I said, coming from a guy whose wife works and shit, but when they do that shit to him, when some scumbag does it to him, oh, no, I'm a victim. Guy's an idiot. Okay, what are you <laughs> and I've never called their families or called their works or nothing like that. I don't do that shit. I only called one person's family one time because I showed you the video of little pulse smoker crank calling my family in Virginia. So I called his grandfather on air live like a man and said, Hey, can you tell your grandson to stop fucking crank calling? You won the Wi-Fi over there. And that's what anyone would do. Who wouldn't do that? You know, what are you going to do? Go up there and beat him up. Someone could get Peggy. I'm gonna tell them that I once threatened to slap a bitch. Good. I'll threaten to slap one of my neighbors. I don't give a fuck. Big, it doesn't matter. Big tough guy. What's up, Mobland? MRE, uh, we can easily call your family's jobs. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. MRE, uh, we can easily call your family's jobs. All of course. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't matter. 
MRE, uh, we can easily call your family's jobs. All of them. Long time ago. Long, long. Look, he's got Omerta tattoos all over his arm. All fanboy fucking groupie shit. This guy is not all there. Long, long. Hey, we're talking about when I was 15. So you're talking about 94, 95. I was already a criminal. Okay. <laughs> I was literally running away from home. I was uh, selling drugs. I already had guns. You know what I mean? I, I, I uh, had already been involved in some pretty serious crimes. I was running the streets like a madman. I was uncontrollable. Uncontrollable. This kid's so full of shit. Okay. And uh, I couldn't have given a shit less. I really couldn't have. I was so wrapped up in my own life. A complete bullshit story. Joey Merlino is a real boss. Yeah, there's a story. I don't know if you know about Chris Pacello, but he's a mob rat, and he's in Miami. He's got the clubs down there. He ran into the yeah, Philly village. boss, Joey Molino, at a basketball game, and there was a rumor that he said some things to Joey, and Joey backed down. There's no way that's true. I don't believe it for a second. Chris is a tough son of a bitch, but, um, you know, he knew who he was standing in front of. So, And sooner or later, you don't have to worry about him. It'll be somebody else. You know, it's, you know, the reason that I do not talk about the, the real mob here is because it's out of respect. Shout out to the Florida mob, Paps Corleone family. You know, I will talk about the snitches, but I will not talk about the real mob here. Do you agree to that? Oh, absolutely. And I have like Joey Molino, for instance, he's, you know, the last boss right now. And he is. Um... How do you know? Says the fucking government. These guys are fucking sick fucking fanboys. He is a, a, a stand up guy. He's a stand up as they come. I have a lot of respect for Joey Molino. So, yeah, I don't I don't touch on that stuff. You want to read that one? The reason that I do not talk about the, the real mob here is because it's out of respect. You know, I'll talk about the snitches, but I will not talk about the real mob here. Do you agree to that? Oh, absolutely. And I have, like, Joey Molino, for instance, he's, you know, the last boss right now, and he is um, he is nice. a, a stand-up guy. He's a stand-up as they come. I have a lot of respect for Joey Molino. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't touch on that stuff. The reason that I do not talk about the, the real mob here is because it's out of respect. You know, I'll talk. None of these guys know the real fucking mob. There is no mob around no more. Snitches, but I will not talk about the real mob here. Do you agree to that? Oh, absolutely. And I have, like, Joey Molino, for instance. He's, you know, the last boss right now. And he is, um, he is a, a stand up guy. He's a stand up as they come. I have a lot of respect for Joey Molino. So, yeah, I don't, I don't touch on that stuff. I don't know. Oh, I'll masquerade. And he has a, uh, he, he is, like I said, he looks like a fucking horse. He looks like Jerry Lewis, right? This is uh, Bill Cotolo Jr., big rat bastard, big rat bastard right here. I don't know who this Fenoik is up there. I don't know if that's Fat Frank. I'm not sure. Billy with my sword. No, I say I eviscerate them with my verbal fucking warfare, verbal shit that Piggy steals off of Uncle MRA. And look at Bill's teeth. Look at Cotolo's teeth. The fucking feds bought them. I don't know. I'll eviscerate Billy with my sword. You, you fat, ugly rat lover. You rat fucking lover. I don't even know who this rat lover is, but anybody on this channel are a bunch of rat lovers. You've got a lot of guys that go on this channel and try to say that their uncles were wise guys. Maybe they were, but if they were alive, they would look at you as filth. They'd slap you in the mouth for dealing with these stool pigeons. I don't know. I right, you don't have to show your face like a little broad, you know, that you get the high. You know? I want to show you the true weakness of the pulse smoke right here. All he cares about is marijuana. But watch how he tries to play both of these guys. And, like, you can't be friends. And that's what a lot of people's problem on this YouTube is. A lot of these fucking people want to be friends with everybody. You can't be friends with everybody, especially uh, when people do shit like these people have done. You know, stalking families, looking up dead people, the whole nine. When you go on these channels and be their friends, everybody else looks at you as a jerk off. And it just shows like it's disgusting. It really is. It's like, wait a minute. Oh, you forgive these people. 
Like, all right, if you're going to forgive these people who's done this rotten shit to you, okay. But uh, don't put them over the people who have been loyal to you. You know, the people who have been loyal to you and good to you and hasn't attacked you or your family. Like, how can you put them on the same fucking level? I don't know. But let's watch this thing right here. It's BK, Code of the Streets. And he's going to, like, watch what a chump he is, trying to please both people. And he loses them both by trying to please them both. Oh, that's but easy. I love the call. And like I said, this is the king of all bitches right here. He hides behind the blinds. He'll threaten to shoot you with a gun. And then when you go to his house to whoop his ass, he'll hide behind the blinds. Already happened on here with him. Love pulling the cards from a fake gangster. I love doing You love that. pulling the cards of a fake gangster? <laughs> That's what's up. <coughs> Good That's shit. Up. You're right. I am a fake gangster. What? I don't Can know I nobody. Mean? I'm a fake gangster. I don't know nobody. Listen, BK, don't be mad at me after this again, bro. Don't please. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> Is this I'm your boy right here? No, yo, bro, we just made up the other day. We just made up the other day. I don't want to be. It's your like, fucking boy, this gun smoke. He's you. very opinionated, this guy. You know, hey, he's, fuck him. I don't even you. know the guy is coming yeah. to me. I don't even know him. Yo, BK Shaolin, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you go, bro. Fuck him. But it's nothing personal, please. He's a clown. It is, man. You don't gotta be so bad at people, bro. See, gun smoke. You can't. He's really a good guy. He's really a good guy. He just, you know, he. He gets a little crazy with people. Gunsmoke, you can't do it that way, man. Like, I'm riding with you for so long. Now you're. I'm with you. Nah, nah. You know I'm with you, bro. Jesus tell that dude nah, I don't think Gunsmoke knew he was going to come at you like that. I didn't even know he was going to come at you like that, yeah, bro. I didn't well, fucking sandbag you, bro. He's a clown, man. He's a clown. I didn't fucking sandbag you. But yo, BK. Don't, don't, yo, the, don't, don't fuck Gunsmoke. Don't clown fucking persuade how you think bro if you like me, really you like him what's the fuck bro i i'm just very grateful that we made up the other day we made <laughs> i'm just very grateful we made up the other day because you almost kicked my ass you almost punched me in the nose i just wanted to make up with you so I don't have to hide behind the blinds peace with each other i, well, like I can't fuck with you gun smoke you fucking with this clown man i don't get down like that i'm a real dude i'm on your channel tell you i don't what are you talking about? don't play me like that if you you're playing both sides, I'm gonna let this guy go. my boy you're letting this dude be disrespectful no no i didn't let him be disrespectful no, that's clown. well he's wearing code's omerta shirt he's wearing his shirt that says omerta this kid's just a pussy, man. He's just such a weak fucking beta male. Like, whoever talks to him, he like, can they, all right, whoever he looks up to, he becomes. He follows and emulates. Oh, shit, man. I don't get down like that. What are Yo, you talking Levy, about? It's nice to meet you, man. I'm, I don't do that shit. I defended you a lot. I just let him go, bro. I just let him hey, go. Man. Look at this ass kissing. And he's got a point, though, right? If two guys, if you're supposed to be his really good friend, you're wearing his shirts and everything, like, you can't please everybody. And he just wants to please everybody. Wow, look at the cheeks forming. Wow, look at that. There's one cheek there. This cheek cuts in. This kid's been blowing up like a fucking balloon the last fucking year. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Did you get knocked up or something rolling around with Piggy in the hay? Because just like uh, that lady said, you look like Chuck E. Cheese. Don't do that uh, to me, bro. You said, you're saying, oh, man, I don't want to offend no. you. Look at him just sucking the dicks. Look. Please stay on. Please. Please. I'll take out my dentures. Oh, but I just told him, bro. We just left the and we made up the other you. day. Lefty, God bless. Oh, bless wow, you. Cold, really? Ha ha, Andy Kaufman. This, you can't please that. It's fucking people. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, look. Door of the streets, man. He I got think, upset, uh, right? dude, he was How insecure, and his face is all red. Like, what a fucking beta male. Going to go at him like that, and I, I think no he's saying, bro. like, listen, you know. I had no I, idea. I know what I'm just an innocent little boy. I had no idea. Uh, I do mean things and stuff, and then I just cry like a bitch, so everybody forgives me. I'm a sweet boy. You're saying, but I think it's just a misunderstanding. You know, yeah, I don't even know what spoke. You couldn't even hear what uh, what he was saying half the time. His phone was fucked up. He just he went out. What he went at FPS the other day. FPS didn't get mad. Yeah, at he him. he. Uh, 
he needs to vent his anger sometimes. Yeah, that's what he does. And, he, and I think do Gunsmoke that. was just like, hey, we just made up. Don't direct your anger at me because I'm cutting you off <laughs> right now. You can't even verbalize it. Fucking uh, Sir nods a lot as verbalizing what Paul Smoke was thinking, but he can't even do it. Look, look at this cheesy, I'm embarrassed laugh. Wow. No. Yeah, of course I'm tighter with friggin' code than this guy. I mean, well, then why don't you have codes back? I'm t obviously I'm tighter the code than this guy, but you got his shirt on, like because you're scared of BK. Let's just be honest. He made you hide behind the blinds before. This guy's got no loyalty to nobody but those rats. Yo, yeah, nothing against yeah. BK Shaolin, but I'm tighter with code than I am this guy. Obviously, the code just took a sensitive right there. I'm very surprised. No, I should have had your boys back. If that's your boy, you should have had his back. No, well, what I think Code <laughs> thought was like he's like, uh, I don't want to offend you, you know, like you were sticking up for him. But it was I don't I want to offend you. I'm letting you go I right. You don't now. have to fight. You don't have to come on here and fight with everybody. He's very appealing. Yeah, look at this. Don't come on after fight with everybody. Says the people who look up people's dead family members, fucking threaten women. Fucking dox people, uh, dox people in my chat. What they did to that old man, Albert, and his 80 year old mother was disgusting. These people are disgusting. Yeah, oh, I think he just got hot and bothered with this guy. Nothing to do was not Jimmy Clan just fuck the teeth out of his nah, fucking mouth. Nothing to do with nah, ha, ha. who is this guy right here? Who is I don't know who this guy is, but he's he says he wants to knock Jimmy Clandra's teeth out. Is not Jimmy Clan just fucking up to the do is not Jimmy Clan just fucking teeth out of his fucking mouth. Ah, uh, see now, hold on, bro. Up to the do is not Jimmy Clan just uh -huh. fucking teeth out of who his mouth. Who is this? Mouth. Does anybody know who this character is? Who is this dude? Ah, uh, okay. see now, hold on, bro. Okay, you no, know, that's not, that's not, that's what up to the do is not Jimmy Clan just fucking teeth out of his fucking mouth. Ah, uh, okay. see now, hold on, bro. Okay, you no, know, that's, not, and that's what it back. Listen, I'm not saying. Listen, you can knock me off the show. That's what it was. I'm responding to what these fucking guys said. I'm not. I said that's what I wanted to do. Mike DeBella, this is. Does he? Is he one of? The, is he on the Rat Squad? What's up, Uncle Mitch? Does he go in? Uh, what is he doing on this Rat Channel? Is he a rat himself? I don't know nothing about the guy, but if he's on Pole Smoke's channel or Piggy's channel with all them rats, well. You are what your friends are. That's what I want to do. You can take me off the show now if you want. You know what I mean? If that's what you want to do, you take me off the show now. Is this a dude who beat Emmy's ass before, like in the in the nineties or something? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I you, you, before. I wasn't saying anything bad. But really, Brian G. He, he donates to the rat channels. Oh, he's a rat in my eyes. You support these rat bastards and these doxes and shit like that, and all these fucking stool pigeons. You just like them. Who want? I talk shit. I'm gonna just fucking respond to it. That's what we're doing, right? We're responding to it. Yeah, but he's Jimmy's water boy right here. Piggy's in a tough situation right here. <clears throat> he wants Jimmy Calamandria to uh, caress his head and kiss him and say it's a good night. But Emmy must have got mad that this guy came on. I wonder how Piggy uh sucked back up to Emmy after that. This ain't wrong. What I say oh, wrong. Yeah, to it. So that's what it was. Okay. What do you think? You're telling me something I don't fucking know? You don't think I fucking, like, uh, Danny fucking Lee tells me? Lee, you're a fucking fat fuck, okay? <laughs> On my worst day is better than your fucking best fucking day, okay? You want to look at me in the fucking screen? I'll give you, I'll buy you the loan, please. Yeah, I'll ask her Oh, Trinbo, this is a treat. Hey, Tony, are yes. you going to be joining Kane Shades' panel <laughs> no. tonight? No. 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 Absolutely. No, good fellas. Good no, this is Tony Sibilio, another fucking doxing liar, stolen valor, uh, fake boxer. He told Kane and Joe he was Vinnie Matt alone. And then he uh, he doxed some mother in my chat. He lost a child, and this woman lost a child also. And he gave her a name to that ripper down there. You're a piece of shit, Sibilio. Fucking pay to play, little bitch. Fellas, is, is that same account that keeps going after Tony? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. There's a guy called Boston Nick, but he's from Kentucky. Oh. Hey, he's another guy, yeah. huh? Only yeah. person, the only people I like up here is Gerard, Mahler, and Angel. These two guys. I don't know much about this guy, but if he was dumb enough 
to fucking go along with all this guy's bullshit after we put this guy's own words out there lying, and he's a fucking mama Luke. Um, we're not sure it's a guy. Could be a guy and a girl. Boy, it'd be nice to get uh, another lady up here. Shows are, but if you want to give me names, all right. This is, was on Uncle Edwin's channel, and you can see the hatred that he has towards this woman right here because this woman used to watch my channel, her and her husband. And he, his wife, befriended her and got her a phone number. And then they tried to tell this woman to stay out of my chats and all that. And she says, I can watch who I want. And they started fucking making lies up about her, crank calling her fucking family, the whole fucking nine. Trambo, debate me about that, bitch. I'm sorry, it will definitely. Uh, you know, okay, okay. Is, uh, don't play funny with me, please. I'm, Edwin, I'm respectful. Mr. Mr. And Uncle Edwin's up here trying to say, hey, have some respect. Like, have some respect. He has no respect, Trambo. Mr. Edwin. Mr. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Mr. Simon. Edwin, yes, sir. Edwin, can you yeah. one Mr. Simon. Uh, yeah. Mr. Silo, are you listening? Yeah, Uncle Mitch. He gave this woman up like a fucking bitch. Are you listening to me? I'm right here. Mr. Simon, can you hear me clearly? I can hear you clearly. Okay, I'm going to ask you for a favor. What's that? I really like you. I really appreciate you. But we cannot have turmoil. And well, especially then, with the okay. woman on the on the panel. Okay, well then you shouldn't be disrespectful and leave a troll of my face up there with my wife in your. Well, see what a victim bitch he is. Uncle Edwin doesn't know there's a troll in the chat with your wife's picture, dickhead. You know he didn't know it was fucking there. This guy's a fucking man of low character. Where's the Vin where's the you and Vinny Paz's buddy? You fucking liar. This guy's the biggest bullshit out of shout out to Chicane Shades. Biggest bullshit I've ever seen, Tranbo. Channel supporting you. Maybe I'm he sorry. Know how to get it down. Exactly. She said it. Maybe he doesn't know how to get it down, which this is when Uncle Evan first started this shit. So these people are all phonies, man. Just phony motherfuckers, dude. Uh, thank you very kindly. Thanks, babe. You didn't have to do that. Thanks. Uh, he's gone, Gunner. Uh, I hate Tranbo is disgusting. He doxes people from my chat. He's a piece of shit. He's a fucking biggest liar around here. This man is a fucking man of low character, no integrity. He's a liar. He said he was Vinnie Matt alone. And everybody knows Kane Shades and Joe are not lying. Everyone knows that. Trambo comes with the scuttle. Um, I am. You know, yeah. you know, Bella, you're awful snappy tonight. Is there something you would no, like to maybe. say to me? Absolutely, 100%. With Go all ahead. Respect. Go and ahead. Of course, of course. Because sometimes when people are really new to you... He ran away. He ran away. He took right off. Took right off. Fucking punk. You punk motherfucker. This woman suffered just like you did. You use your son as a crutch, you bitch. And then you go give up this let you motherfucker. You're a dirty man. Tranbo, Sibilio, Mr. Fucking Mob. Oh, he came in, told us he was a boxer, MMA fighter, and then he became a mob guy. These fucking people. What's next? The one percenter? Tube. You know, they get all in their feelings. And there's Miss no Rose. Miss Rose. Miss Rose. Mr. Edwin. Mr. Edwin. Yeah. Miss Rose. Hold, hold. Yeah. Miss Rose, listen to me carefully. This channel, this channel is dedicated to God and the Holy Virgin Mary. He said, that's There's nothing, it. I, I don't fight. know, but you still... He said, that's There's nothing, it. I, I don't fight. know, but you still... I don't know what channel this is. This might be the Junk Boxes channel. I can hear the other, these fake wise guys. Like, these guys will come on here and say they're mob guys and shit. And uh, they'll have like a picture, a fake picture, but they won't tell you who they are. They're fucking sickos. These people are all phonies and loppers, man. And then you said, They're that's nothing. It. I, I don't I, know, but you're still a rat. You're still a snitch. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I but listen, but listen, you said, uh, you, listen, you, by you. listen, you said that and you broke your word, right? You know, you're putting lefty in danger. What if somebody. Oh, this is Anthony Radalata. This is Radalata right here. 
This is Radalata, and I think Radalata might even make a point here that I agree with. Hold on. He does make an attempt. And All right, kid- so the guy Fish, this guy's a fucking phony. He's another one who says he's a fucking gangster and shit. He's another fucking Tranbo and the rest of these guys. Uh, I guess he's saying that Aralata could have got Lefty killed by hanging with him. Uh, that's Lefty's choice. He's a grown man. If he wants to go hang with rat stool pigeons and... Like that's that's his own choice. What are you, Lefty's daddy? <laughs> Is le- Lefty's with you? How would you feel? And who, who are they gonna make a temp? And number one, why are you on here with a bunch of rats, anyways? Fucking rat lover. And and me? I would probably feel like you know the situation you're in. Right? Right? Never, never get that lucky and turn on the news and see Aralata stretched out. Oh, oh, stupid, you know what you did. You stupid fuck. What, what if somebody made an attempt Are you on stupid? your life and, and the kid lefty's with you and he bought all right, it? So, all right. So, and if, all right, there are lefties with him and lefty gets shot with him. So be it. That's lefty's choice to hang out with a rat. That's his choice. You're a grown man. You should know that. How would you feel? He, what? He would. How would he feel? Aralata wouldn't give a fuck. Aralata wouldn't care. He robbed the lefty. He stole money off him. He fucking robbed him. What do you mean? He wouldn't care? Why would he care? He don't care about his own fucking people. He wouldn't have any time to feel. He'd be dead. Exactly. He wouldn't have any time to feel. He'd be dead. Are you well, afraid? I guess are you that afraid that to die? <laughs> Sorry for a kid like Lefty, obviously. Listen, you, listen. You're you're afraid. Obviously, you're afraid. You're scared. You're a pussy. We know you're a pussy, right? Bro, I'm he's not, got a better I'm shot of taking a bullet hanging with me than I'm I not a pussy. You afraid I'm not to take a pussy. it to trial? You're a you're a pussy. You're a pussy. I heard it was a weak case friend, too, from what I read. Your 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 friend got murdered right in front of you, right? And you said that you saw the blood and you got all queasy and, and you almost threw up. Never- Wait a minute. Fish said he's watched a friend get murdered in front of him. These guys are full of fucking stories. Said that. What? But what about us, Lee? We don't have the it factor? You have I'm like- sick and tired of you choosing <laughs> people over me, Lee. No, you have the I factor. That means you don't have the T involved. <laughs> no, Lee, I, I don't like this. You treat Danny Trio better than me. <laughs> that one year anniversary show you were supposed to put me on, you put FBS on. What the <laughs> fuck, Lee? Why you treat me like dirt, Lee? <laughs> because you, you ran when the wheels came off. <laughs> you, you you swore to me that you would never leave me no Kane's left on principles he left the channel on principles Kane is someone like myself who will not go on stream with informants and will not deal with a channel that is platforming and dealing with informants so that's why he left Kane didn't leave because he was scared of arguing with me on YouTube no that's not it it's because he don't deal with rats and he's been a, a solid dude <laughs> One of the most solidest dudes on here that I've known for the two years I've been on here. Solid motherfucker, stand-up dude. He's not going to backstab his friends. And one thing about him, he's no liar, neither, Tranbo. Try, uh, fuck you, Tranbo. You're going to tell me people believe Tranbo over this guy who proved his character for two years in this community. Tranbo got caught in a thousand lies. Wow. Tranbo's got the green. Yeah, but you gotta remember, dude. I've been married several times. I've been left many times. Believe so you left me. It was Believe devastating. You. I couldn't get over it. I had no choice. Lee, you you were going in, and we had creative differences. I couldn't go there. Lee. There's no way you I could live with myself, it, dude. I started loving you, and you and you <laughs> broke our love. You broke that. You broke that that bond. What about my heart? You broke yeah. my heart, you cocksucker. You <laughs> well, they're just trolling right here, fucking with each other, but it's funny. Left you today like so. You broke my heart, Lee. <laughs> you who who do these mob shows, the mob historian, maybe 85% of them, they network with informants. Yeah. They're friends with informants. The books are written by informants. So it's all bullshit anyway. Yeah, look at yeah, that's why I don't like this. Like, uh, like you know, I'm a history buff, right? I love history, but I'm I don't like mob history and shit. It's stupid. Here's why: ninety nine point percent of all the shit comes from rats, wiretaps that are fucking uh, edited and cut up. Uh, like doing history on a secret fucking society uh, is ret- it's just I don't I'm just not into it. I'm not hating on people who do like that, but. It's just stupid to me. I like, I'd rather learn about Roman history.
Yeah. You're right, though. There's some mm -hmm. guys out there that look at what's his name, Mr. Encycl uh, Mr. Wikipedia, Jeff Nadu. He came on yesterday and he said yesterday that if it wasn't for the rats, we wouldn't have. And 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 then what's his name? FBS said it tonight. They said if it wasn't for the rats, the mob genre would not exist. They both said. Oh, I'm trying to see that. Hold on, someone, did someone block Angela. Why can't I see her? Uh, what did she write first? I can't see it. A broken something. Fuck. Where is it? I don't know. That someone must have deleted it. Uh, what did you? I, how you doing, Angela? I didn't see what your first comment was. No deal. The defender of Tram Trambo's a fucking bullshitter. Uh, what's up, John Brown? Yeah, I can't go up and see what the f can't find it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't find it. Maybe it was deleted. Something about broke a kid, or I don't know. Uh, Jamo came in. MRE watched all of this shit from the background. Holy fuck, couldn't believe what the fuck I heard. Thanks for calling him out, guys. Great. Yeah, Trambo's a liar. He's a liar. What are there? Two of you going around? What? Uh, a fake one? Yeah. Well, is it? Well, 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 here's the thing, though. This is how the genre started. The genre, this whole stupid mob two bullshit, it started because we were calling out a particular informant, John A. Light. So, so it started us going after him and calling him he was full of shit. And that's that's why I was here. Uh, why I'm here to call what out. Kid? What kid? Uh, you broke the kid. He's talking crazy. Yeah, I don't know who the kid is. Hinkley kitten. Oh, Hinkley, Hinkley going crazy. Kitten. Wow. Kitten loves sending roses to women and chocolates, and those girls laugh at him. He a kitten can almost he can only get in the friend zone, and even that's an odd place for kitten to be. Kitten has uh, stalks gangsters, uh, gangsters' grandkids. He stalks get women, uh, female grandchildren of gangsters. He's a sicko. Yes, kitten is. Kid's a sicko. He's a celebrity stalker. Uh, being for second. After John Gotti Jr. kicked him to the curb, didn't want to be his friend no more for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know Gotti Jr. Uh, for whatever reason, he kicked him to the curb. He started attacking the sister and going after the sister. He's a sick puppy. Could be buddies with them. So, no, that's dude, how it started. Me. I just, that's I just, how it started. Me. And Kenton's a very, very jealous boy. What did he go live or something? He couldn't deal with it. Oh yeah, that's kitten's coping mechanism. Casbo, the uh, the communist's coping mechanism, loves Mao Zedong, Che Guevara, all that shit. You were going after a light. No, you're wrong. The mob genre was here way before we came along. I'm talking about this, the little crazy community. That no, little community, community was started. They said the mob genre, dude. They, oh, say, okay. they said the mob genre. You know who you? Who FBS included in that? Oh, we're not in the mob genre. Let me finish. I'm, FBS not, in FBS I'm not in the mob genre. Let me finish, please. FBS today said that OC Shorts was part of the mob tube. Oh, OC, OC Shorts is not part of the mob tube. Uh, but OC Shorts, shame on you for Sammy Gravano loving fucking idiot. Shorts. Mm. OC Shorts. His well, OC Shorts highest rated shows ever. Not one of them had anything to do with a rat. Not one of them. Shows he's not a friend, bad company. Let me elaborate on that. Kitten is friends to no one. He'll go sit on a panel. That's why he doesn't know what loyalty means. Where he came from, whoever the fuck raised him, because he wasn't allowed to leave his yard, doesn't know loyalty. He's supposed to be friends with Maureen, but yet he sits on the panel, just like he did to Angel. He's supposed to be friends with Angel, too. He goes on the panel with Piggy and... All these guys who made up slanderous lies about Angel and her son and daughter. And if Kitten's no friend to Maureen, <laughs> no way. Because if you were really a friend, you would not be on a panel of people who, uh, it's not like they're saying, hey, we don't like Maureen. You know, she's a hypocrite or she said this or that. They're attacking this woman's dead son, God rest his soul. 
which is fucking disgusting. Disgusting. He's no friend to her. No way. No way. Really? We're friends like that. Who needs fucking enemies? You're helping a channel that is attacking your friend's deceased child. That's no friend. Just <laughs> that's no friend. Yep. I, I, he did it to Angel too in them. That's they're not friends, man. I get my yeah, but some of his information comes from like informants. Yes, I agree with Kane. Most of their information comes from informants and rats. And, and no. What, Oh, say short. What the informants are saying. Oh, say shorts. Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> Paps. Oh, say shorts. What can you? Oh, say what you say. Oh, say, oh, say, okay, okay. The three o twos. Yes. No. The oh, majority of this. that Montauk? What are you sticking up for the rats? No, what I'm not oh, saying. No. I'm sticking up for the rats. I'm saying. No, he doesn't mean that. Paps Coleone, boss of Florida. Paps. May your first channel be a masculine channel, Paps. And may your channel be a masculine channel. Same. No, that, that's history, dude. What are you? Oh, so you trying to. Nah, no, it's rat history and from informants. So it's not really history. Like, no, it all comes from rats, cooperators, and bums. Say it's the informants that tell us everything about John Gotti. They're lies. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. lies. Everything the informants say are lies. So I'd rather hear nothing than hear a bunch of lies from a bunch of rats. I don't want to hear nothing. That's why I don't watch stupid mob documentaries and shit like that. I'm not hating on anybody who does. That's why I don't watch that shit or give a fuck about mob history. I like Roman history, American history, all kinds of history, but that dumb shit. I'm telling you, well, I'm saying, I, I personally believe OC Shorts. Why do you hear so easy, dude? I don't even know who the fuck OC Shorts is. <laughs> <laughs> Kane's crazy. <laughs> and Angel's laugh is funny too. A half a million. He averages a half a million on his busiest shows. Whatever the case may be, when you get information, Kane, be careful. You're fucking with Paps, boss of Florida. You're gonna have some Floridians. Uh, Fucking get you. Be careful. Information from an informant. That's and they write the books. It's oh, all he short, doesn't get his information from an informant. Where does he get his information from? Then Lee, I don't know who he knows. It. Is in Dude, he's from England. <laughs> what do you think okay. he pulls up the informants here? No, he watches the fucking uh, Wikipedia and all these mob shows, just like all these other fan fucking mob historian idiots. And they get ninety nine point nine percent of their shit or all their shit. From rats, the FBI, fucking uh, like you can't see what he's saying. I can, but but but, but, but he does research, right? He does research, oh, oh, right? Oh, oh, so his research is coming from. And then when he reads, the yes, it's coming. That's what Kane's saying. His research is coming from informants and rats. Three oh my god, I gotta go. Good night, people. No, but <laughs> oh my god. run really to the hills. Run for your life. Perhaps Corleone just took off rage quit. You believe what the informants are saying? Oh my <laughs> God! You see what little baby he is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just got done calling Kane thin skin. He jumped off for a little argument. Perhaps it's nothing big. Baby, the three o twos. You you really believe that that is true? That what the informants are saying? I believe all informants are liars. Stand yeah. up, be your own man. And stop getting FBS because of who he is okay, and wait, his wait, popularity. Wait, wait, wait. His pop at, look at this guy. This guy's fucking whacked. This is Weepy. Weepy's whacked out of his fucking mind right here. His popularity. The guy's got fucking 6,000, 7,000 subscribers. Popularity is fucking. Like, I don't understand these people who get infatuated with YouTubers, but Weepy did. He went down to the steakhouse. I think, in the news. Fucking nuts. Oh, FBI! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, wait, wait! I'm not yelling. Let me stop. Can I finish my comment? I'll let you talk. Can I finish my comment? Let me talk. No, fuck you! I will finish my comment. Fuck you! Anyway, FBS, you need him. You need him to co-sign your bullshit because you don't have. Oh, just a I will let me talk for just a minute, just for a minute, bro. You got it, brother. You got it. Big mouth. That's all you are. <laughs> yeah, we pee. I gotta agree with Paps Coleone's right. We pee is just rambling 
Get he, he guessed right here. He's got his new set of dentures. He's just rambling. <laughs> no, I'm a builder from South screaming. Philly. I'm not a debater. You I'm not screaming. nobody. You win a debate. You don't let hey, nobody talk. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not debating nothing. Orders. You're that I, guy that needs Now he's odd debating a topic. So we're on the FBS show. You this ain't what? a debate. You're like Tony <laughs> <Pisa. You're> <laughs> Tony wow. Dude, I'm not feeding into it. Yo, I'm Tony, like Tony Pizza. Pizza. Dude. I'm worth a whole lot more than Tony Pizza. I got him. Another retard. I'm worth this. I'm worth that. This guy's a fucking clown. He's lucky Assassino is a nice guy. Team houses and businesses. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm not feeding. I'm not even going to feed into it. Nice try. But every time you come on his show, talk shit, the last line you say you is, am I right, FBS? Am I right, yeah, FBS? I yeah, Lee. That's what he said. What the hell are they even debating over? I don't know. Let me talk. Uh, no, okay. finish talking. Go ahead, talk. Go ahead, talk. Or not? Go ahead, not? talk. What you don't like when yeah, people me... say the truth? Go ahead, okay. talk. Let Go ahead, me talk. talk. Go ahead. FBS. What a retard. FBS. Oh wait, well, well, I'm a retard. No, Listen you're not here, smart enough to be a retard. Listen here, redneck. You're not smart enough to be a retard. I doubt you were a gangster too. All uh, right, listen. Okay. Listen. He's definitely not a gangster. No, no. Wee P was not a gangster. Definitely not. Like I said, they wouldn't be on the show with a bunch of rat lovers and rats. And he wouldn't have made a fool of himself like that at the cheesesteak place. And got all stuff. Now, he did apologize for it, but Assassino didn't accept the apology. So, bye, fungal. Listen, Listen he, I don't want you guys he's going to the territory. You don't want to gangster. Would you point that? Yeah, perhaps I was going to say, if you were a gangster, would you even be on here? You ain't a tough guy. You've never been a tough guy. I guess this is Paps and Piggy and a debate right here. See, you got soft skin. That's what you think. You got butter skin. You, you got the type of Now, skin. listen to this. Listen to everything Paps is saying right here because Paps is dead on. Paps Corleone, the capo to the capi of fucking Florida, is dead on right here. Lee is dead on. Watch what Lee says. Watch what Lee says and then watch what comes after that. Ever been a tough guy. See, you got soft skin. That's yeah. what you think. You got butter That's skin. You, you got the type of skin where if you get hit, you bleed. You would point that. You ain't a tough guy. You never been a tough guy. See, you got soft skin. That's what you think. You got butter you skin. Think. You got the type of skin where if you get hit, you bleed. You get hit, you bleed. <laughs> a tough guy. See, you got soft skin. That's what you think. You got butter you skin. Think. You got the type of skin where if you get hit, you bleed. Look at this shit. <laughs> Papstradamus. Nostradamus is Lee Cole. Lee Cole is Papsadamus. Nostradamus. Paps, boy, you were fucking right. You were right. Lee was right. He sure was. Look at Piggy Bleed running into his... This is the kid who was talking about he's shooting at cars and shooting at vans. Nobody wants him to be a street guy, a gangster. What kind of fucking man would get a punched in his nose, right? Get punched in his nose, run into his house like this. His mother's there. His kid's there. Bleed like a little... Bleed like a sieve. Bleeding like a fucking sieve, crying like a fucking baby, calling the cops. What? Unbelievable. Watch. <laughs> a tough guy. See, you got soft skin. That's what you <laughs> Did you hear the fucking parents in the background? You got butter skin. You, you got the type of skin. I'm out of state. If I miss any of those pictures, guys, Look. any picture you see. Here's him after he got beat up. He's literally in the the hospital telling people, guys, if you have any pictures that can help me get them arrested, I want to get them all arrested. If you got any pictures, send them to me. I'm calling the cops. Fucking look at him. Ugh. That's all happening. He got punched in the nose. That's it. A punch in the fucking nose. Hold on a minute. All right, hold on. A punch in the fucking nose. After this, I'll show you the pictures of Sessa choking him and pushing him to the ground. Take screenshots of it. Hold on. Look, take screenshots of it. <laughs> They're posted. Look at the fake laugh. Look at the insecure fake laugh right here. Now, there's no way he's proud of himself right here. You just got beat up by YouTube guys who you put their children and their, or their nieces up. They came, beat your ass. Pizza put a hit out from a tent. 
and sent them there to whoop your ass. Okay. Look at this fake laugh. Oh my God. This is for, a forced fake laugh right here. <laughs> Johnny Mac. Oh, Johnny big Mac. cop caller. The rat. Right. Look at this. The fucking rat. Wow. Mac, are you? Does the methadone still get you this high? Are and you? notice that he's whispering right here. He's whispering. He don't want the doctors to hear him. You realize that you're fucked, right? You're finished. You, you understand that, don't you? Oh, my God. Let me see. Yeah. Here. He just said, Johnny, you're finished. You are all fucked. You are all going to jail. You are finished. Don't you know that? But this is the big street guy who chased a van and shot bullets at a van. This is the big tough guy right here. The one who puts up dead, makes fun of grandmothers, puts up dead people's fucking family members, crank calls their families, looks up their families. Shout out Mob Talk Radio, you too. He was part of that little fucking crew. Fibby, I'm going to chalk you off this week too, bitch. Oh, yeah. And you strike one more of my fucking videos. I got one more video to do on you, you fucking fake Providence accent motherfucker. You strike one of my videos and I'm making a whole channel about you, you bitch. You fucking, you say you're from Providence. Who would, who gives someone an award saying they're the best channel out there? They love them so much. At the same time, you're looking me up and trying to get me off YouTube to dox me. Because why? Because I'm really from Providence, unlike you and your fake mob grandfather. Grant, you don't got a mob grandfather, you fucking liar. Fucking goof. Said his grandfather came up with Raymond Petriaca. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at Piggy. Uh, if you see any more, if, if this jerk off Johnny Mac or Tony Pizza or anything, put them up. Right. Um, if Johnny Mac or Tony Pizza say anything, get the screenshots. I'm going to need them for court. Uh, please send them to me. Take screenshots. It's important we have them. And, and Tony it's Pizza. important we have them. And Tony Pizza, you're going to jail, Pizza. Say what you want about Tony Pizza, Piggy. He's annihilated you the whole time on YouTube. Pizza has fucking raped you fucking viciously over here, Jody Foster. Viciously. He made fun of your wife. You paid him 200 bucks after that. He put a hit out from a fucking tent. The day before Piggy got beat up, Pizza went, uh, Tony R. Beats went live from a fucking tent saying something wonderful is going to happen today. <laughs> like, like a homeless dude put a hit out on you from a tent. <laughs> so you're going to jail, bro. <laughs> Now you're going to jail, bro. Oh, look at him. Look at him laughing. I think it's funny. Oh These are all going to jail. This isn't a laugh of embarrassment. This is a fake laugh, though. This is a laugh of embarrassment, insecurity. <laughs> Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac, are you, does the methadone still get you this high? Or you do realize that you're fucked, right? You're finished. You're finished. You, you understand that, don't you? No, Johnny Mac and them are still free. They didn't get arrested from that. They're still free. <laughs> they got the they got the W over you all day. They beat you up, and you went crying. You went crying like a broad, like a little broad. I know women wouldn't even do that. Oh my God! Let me see here. How embarrassing! Uh, if you see any more, if, if this jerk off Johnny Mac or Tony Peach or anything, put them up. Um, He's talking about the pictures. He he knew pictures were taking that. I, look, I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, please send them to me. Take screenshots. It's important we have them. And, and Tony Pizza, <laughs> you're going to jail, bro. <laughs> Tony Pizza, you dumb. God. It's conspiracy. It's conspiracy. Look at him whispering, Tony Pizza. It's a conspiracy. You're all going to jail. You're all going to jail. You should have a big red nose on right here. How embarrassing! Getting beat up in front of your mother and your son, and then your wife comes home, and they got to pick you up at. And you went in an ambulance. Never in my life have I went into an ambulance for getting my nose busted. Look <laughs> at God. It's a federal crime. A federal you cross crime. state lines. To yeah, guys, you cross state lines. It's a federal crime. No, it's not, actually. Uh, you told the story when they pulled up to your house. The guy said, hey, Johnny wants to fight you. You run at Johnny Mac. Johnny Mac and you fight. Uh, you get a few punches, and then you call someone uh, 
a groid or something like that. The black dude punches you in the face. You said you were hit with baseball bats. That's a lie. I'll show you that in a second. Let's let it play. Assault somebody. Aggravated assault. They used a weapon, a fucking baseball bat. They I didn't use a baseball bat on you, Piggy. No way. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Conspiracy to commit. Look at this rat snitch bitch. Even the rat lovers who watch his channel abandoned him after this. Because nobody wants to be on team. I just got beat up and called the cops. Even rat lovers don't want to be on my guy who I watch on YouTube got beat up and called the cops. That's totally embarrassing. Mick, Tony Pizza, you're part of that. Johnny Mac, Anthony Sessa, your little fat scumbag brother. All of you guys, the two black guys, you're fucking finished. The two black guys. The two black I thought it was four black guys. The four black guys did it. You're finished. I love it. He loved it. No, you don't love it. You're in it. When he first came out on YouTube, right? If you told him this would happen, you think he would have said he loved it? Hell no. This is the kid who shoots at people. Fucking phony. Sally, five dollars. Stand up. Guy, do it alive at four thirty a.m. Get the fuck out of here. Why doesn't he do it? Do it now. How so embarrassing. Uh, yeah, Kaz, I got that one. I got that one. That's you know what? Let me That's go. Good point. Hold His on, eyes are fucked up. Guys, this is what I need you to do. Go over to Pizza's channel. And take a good screenshot. Do it on Look, he's telling all of his chat members, help me be a cue. He's deputizing his chat. <laughs> he's deputizing him. He's fucking Marshall Dillon from Gunsmoke, and he's deputizing fucking people. I want you all to go into Pizza's chat and take pictures. If anybody says anything about the little two mocks I got. Right. Your phone if you can. Take a good screenshot of, like, I'll make sure you can see that it's his channel okay. and that that video and picture are post Officer Friendly. Officer fucking friendly over here. Tootie Muldoon. Posted on there. Car 54, where are you? I'm right here. Right here. Okay. Make sure. Tony Pizza, you, you, you're really going to be on the run now. Huh? You better never let anybody know where you are. Bro. Tony Pizza, you're going to be really be on the run now. You better never let no one know where you are because you're going to get arrested. You better never let anybody know where you are because the cops are coming for you. Bro. Cops are coming for you. <laughs> no, Pizza's still free to this day in the tent. He's still free to this day. What's up, Mob Rats 1? After tomorrow or tonight, if I leave here in the after tonight and tomorrow and my cop friends help you. I thought you said the judge and everybody hates you because you're such a criminal gangbanger. Next hour or so, I'll talk to the cop tonight. I'll give him all the information. Yeah, that li listen. Sure, I'll post it on there. Okay. Make sure. Tony Pizza, you, you, you're really going to be on the run now. You better never let anybody know where you are, bro. Mitch. You better never let anybody know where you are because the cops are coming for you, buddy. <laughs> believe that after tomorrow or tonight if i leave here in the next hour or so i'll talk to the cop tonight i'll give him all the information uh pizza you're finished buddy you were as a human being when you were high and drunk compared to when oh, you were yeah. sore so if you were high and drunk and you were going to go to jail and you know the first thing you had to go through was the retorts you know this is when piggy first came around no, yeah. that's that's when the FBI gets you. Yeah. When they know you're gonna have to go through those withdrawals. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because um you'll do anything to save yourself from that pain. <laughs> yeah. And Ain't it like unbelievable? Huh? Let me show you this other thing. Now for real quick, I want you to look at the the people like look at Kane and then look at him, right? Kane's been on here for two years, he's been on here for two years. This man never broke his word, never lied about people, never backstabbed people. This man has done all of the above and beyond. Now, I got a few funny pictures to show you. We've seen them before. You know where I'm going with this one. Pig, little piggy go wee. Little piggy go wee. This is the big, tough gangster, folks. This is the big, tough gangster. 
Remember, he said he had a knife in his pocket. He was going to stab Sessa. This is the big tough guy. Right there. Now, every man on here, and women too, you can see that this is a man in total submission. Total submission to another man. He, like Sessa's don't even got his fingers around his neck. He's holding him by the cheeks. Piggy, very, look how small Piggy's arms are. Uh, like I've said before, he said he was jumped by five guys, four black guys, two white guys. And we can see a house over here. It's about 50 yards away. Another 30, 40 yards over here. We don't see black guys with bats. We don't see all the other guys beating them up. And look at Piggy's eyes. It's like he's seen the Gorgon. It's like he's seen the fucking Gorgon. And then Sessa... We threw Piggy to the ground. Look at Piggy, like a little T-Rex. And now he said he was beat with baseball bats, okay? He was hit in the legs with baseball bats. Look how skinny those fucking calves are. You, would not, you must have been terrible at sports. You have no calves, no calf muscles, and your arms are fucking tiny, dude, your shoulders. You are very awkwardly built. Now, if he was hit with baseball bats, people... Oh, thank you for that, man. Thank you for the cash out. If he was uh, if he was hit with baseball bats in the leg, number one, the ambulance drivers would have had him been laying down. They wouldn't have had him sitting up uh, in the fucking ambulance. Number two, these legs were not hit with baseball bats. Why do you think those guys, they dropped the charges and nothing went fucking forward? Because he wasn't beat with bats. Those guys could have killed him. Even just Cesar alone right here. He's at his mercy right here. He didn't even punch him. Sessa did not punch him. He threw him to the ground. He's telling him right here, don't ever put my niece up again. Stop putting my families up. And look how small Piggy, look at Piggy's arms are right on his arms. This is a man that is begging for a reprieve. This is somebody that is totally subdued, scared to death, and just begging. Look, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck you, Piggy. Wee! Little T-Rex Piggy. Look, how embarrassing. And while this was going on, his mother was screaming, I told you this was going to happen. Ragdoll. Yes. Unbelievable. And they have the legs. Well, see, calves, if you're good at sports, you know, most likely you've got some calves or some big legs. Uh, you could tell this dude wasn't good at sports or nothing like that. His fucking legs are tiny. And that's my point where getting beat with a bat in the legs, like he said, he would his legs would have been destroyed. And this is the big tough guy who was shooting at people. And remember, he said he had a butcher knife in his pocket. Remember that. He said that in the stream that he's lucky Sessa didn't get stabbed in the face. He had a butcher knife in his pocket. There was no butcher knife in this pocket. No way. Even if there was, he didn't use it. But you know how I know there was no butcher knife? Because look, wee! The butcher knife would have stabbed in his leg. And look at his jeans. They're like these little tight jeans with all ruffles and cutoffs and shit. Like just what this fucking little kids wear. Like unbelievable. And that's what happens. And people forget he didn't get jumped. He got beat up. He said he was. A, yes, he said he was. You heard that too, Brian. Yes, he said he was about to stab them. He wasn't going to stab shit. They didn't even jump him. In his own words, he, that's why uh, the charges didn't go nowhere because he admitted it on live stream that he charged Johnny Mac. He's trying to dress like Bieber. Yeah, he charged the dude. And if you go charging at somebody. Like, the guy Sessa knocked on the window when Piggy pulled up. And Piggy didn't see them before that. Piggy would have drove off. He wouldn't have stopped. When he stopped, the Sessa guy says, Johnny's over there. He wants to fight you. And Piggy runs at Johnny Mac, and they got in a fight. So how did they all jump you? If those guys, like I said, right here, folks, anybody who knows anything about anything can tell if these guys wanted to hurt him, wouldn't they all be kicking him, beating him? Wouldn't he have more than just those little two mocks on his nose? Wouldn't he have more than just that? 
There's nothing more embarrassing than this, especially Mr. Gangster, Mr. Tough Guy. Piggy, I fucking laugh. These are no angle. <laughs> exactly. Yes, Uncle Mitch. There's nothing no more. That's the biggest pussy move. My bro, you know, I can laugh at these uh, right now. These ankles are picker. Yeah. No, uh, no, I think it's over. Piggy used the excuse of uh, the judges and everybody hated him because he was such a, a badass in the streets. <laughs> yeah, this is the badass. Not even a friend to have his back. Not even one fucking friend he can call up to stand beside him. Because he's told us before. See, Piggy's a good, not a good liar because he's got a bad memory. If you become, if you're a liar, you better have a real good fucking memory. You know? Uh, stole Piggy's Big Mac. They, they, they took the Piggy's dignity. They took, well, Piggy took his own dignity. Because, hey, listen, everybody can get, anybody can get beat up, right? Anybody, the toughest guy out there can get beat up. That's not the issue. The issue is this. An ambulance ride for a broken nose, calling the cops on people, going live, crying like a little bitch. Yeah, bad actor. Like, saying he was going to stab this guy. Just be honest. Just be honest. You got you. Now, what? if I was Piggy and that would have happened to me, I would have just went live the next day and it's like, no big deal. It's just a fight. Who gives a fuck, you know? He doesn't have integrity. He is and yeah, more like indignity, exactly. Uh, he said that he had to protect his house. Yeah, that's a, that's amazing, Brian. All right, he's wanted in court. He wants to get these guys arrested really bad, right? Obviously, he went to the cops, called the cops, but then he says he didn't go to the court hearing because he was worried about people breaking his house up or hurting his family. How the fuck are the guys that are going to court? You just press charges on. I'm going to hurt your family if you go to court. It makes no fucking sense. He didn't want to go because he didn't want them to see him and take pictures of him. And he, he didn't have the balls to look them in the eye, neither. He didn't have the balls to look them in the eye. The issue is, yes, how he conducted them. Exactly. Because anybody can get beat up. The toughest guy in the world can get a fucking beaten. That's not the issue. The issue is how he handled it. Well said. And how he handled it, it was just like I thought he would handle it. Just like a rat handles things. A sissy. Yeah, we're going to watch pigs fly. No doubt. Wipe off the blood. Exactly. Exactly. Don't go cry over there. You want to get them arrested. Fucking all that fanoikery. It's stupid. Is Kitty still, Casbo still crying? Is Casbo still crying? He wants to send chocolates and roses to all the mob guys' granddaughters and stuff. Casbo's a creepy little kitten. And no, you're no friend to Maureen. Just like I told you, you were no friend to Angel neither. Like, imagine, uh, I'll ask, uh, let me ask Kid Rock to pose thing. Imagine if you had friends. These were your real friends. You were in the trenches with these people, fighting with Aletto, all these creeps. And then you've got a guy who's slandering their children, making horrendous lies up about her son, about her daughter, her. Would you go on that channel? No, never. Would you go on someone's channel like that? Make sense with you, Mob Talk Radio. All you fucking bums. Use a fanboys who use people. Use a users. Use a not friends. What's up, Billy? Use a not friends to no one. Friends to no one. I don't. And protect them all. Piggy can't protect himself. Now, imagine if these guys were there to jump him or hurt him. They went there for a one on one fight. Fear should have went live after the beat down. I mean, yes, exactly. Yeah, Casbo is a 40 year old virgin, of course. Went live after. Of course, it did. It made him look like a rat. Oh, it made him look like what he was a rat because he is a rat. That's a rat move. It's a rat. You know, when you call the cops, you tell somebody, uh, come to my house. I, I'll give you 1400 if you come here. And then threaten to pull their, their kids' pictures up and looking up their family. And they come and whoop your ass. You're going to call the cops on them? Of course he is. He worships rats. He constantly tells people to pull up, yeah, to where he lives. He don't give a fuck about his family. If you're living with your wife, your stepkid, and your mom, 
You shouldn't tell people to pull up to your house, dude. Like, what if these guys are crazy? What if uh, what if one day you fuck with the wrong person and you and you dox their family members and they say, you know what? I'm gonna go off the whole fucking family. I'm gonna go spray. I'm gonna drive by that house and spray it. I'm gonna spray that house. And then God forbid somebody gets fucking shot. Like, oh my God. Fucking idiot. MTI made the mistake talking up with shit for brains. Now he knows. Yeah, both. From, yeah, he's from York, Pennsylvania. Exactly. They're all liars. Fibby's a fucking bullshitter. I I got a thing. Uh, I should uh, let me put it on my channel and show you it for a second. It's a thing where it's a, it's showing he's an actor, all shit, and he's saying he's from York, Pennsylvania. And you remember Jared Ham in my interview, a video with Jared Ham. What did Jared Ham say after he moved from York, Pennsylvania? I mean, after he moved away from West Virginia, he moved to York, Pennsylvania. That's what Jared Ham said. It's exactly what the fuck he said. And this thing I'm going to show you right now. Give me a second. This thing I'm going to show you right now backs that up. <laughs> it's unbelievable. These guys are all fucking liars. Come on, people. We've seen fake one percenters, fake mob guys, fake fucking... Uh, Everything, fake Marines, uh, so many fucking fake people and liars. Now, right here. Oh, I got to click on this. Shit. Look. You know, actor, comedian, director, editor, producer, screenwriter from York, Pennsylvania. Come on, man. Like, what the fuck? And you're going to sit there and just lie. Like, uh, because he's a fucking idiot, too. What's up, Bat Boy? They're all idiots and phonies on here, man. They lie about where they're from, who they're related to. They're sick. They're fucking sick. And like I said, if he came up and his grandfather was really some made guy who came up with Raymond Petriaca, he would have never went and lived with John A. Light and looked up to them rats. And he surely wouldn't have attacked uh, John Gotti's daughter, helping a rat attack uh, Gotti's daughter. That just wouldn't have happened. You know, he just wouldn't have done that. So, you know, he's just a fucking idiot. And that motherfucker is a doxing little pig. He gave me uh, an award. And he used to fucking kiss my ass, how great my channel was, all this shit. And in the same breath, he's helping these people look me up. He's literally helping these people look me up. It blows my mind with these guys. <laughs> but nothing really surprises me over here. This is a, all phony motherfuckers around here. What's up, Montauk? This whole little, whatever you call this genre of these five or six channels and the three out of 400 people that watch all these channels are all fucking phonies. They might, all right, there might be like 10 guys out of 100 who are, have a people of integrity and shit. The rest are flip-floppers, phonies, liars, uh, fake motherfuckers. Back, yeah, backstabbing ketchup boy. That's just what he is. A sick bastard. Sick bastard. Uh, was Casbo still freaking out? Casbo, is he, uh, what's he doing? Looking up mob guys, granddaughters on Instagram. <laughs> and you know the funny part is? The girl wouldn't date him. She dated one of his friends and not him. Fucking goof. Now, I just sent in some girl chocolates and roses. She don't even fucking like you. Fucking simp. That'd be the fucking day. That'd be the fucking day. Let's do it in the chat back and catch. But yeah, people are sick, man. Sick bastards. But uh, the novellas are funny and great because they let people know. Because you've got a lot of new people. Uh, how you doing, Wicca Moon? God bless you. Oh, from COVID? Yeah, see, Vids is good people, man. It's my buddy. Uh, yeah, man, I acted like you were... The second, yes, I was her favorite channel. FBS's wife, I was her favorite channel. 
She said it on stream and to me many times. That was her favorite channel. He has still channel. Uh, let's see what he said. He's still on his channel. Woman did the fold like he should. Wait, hold on, I can't see it. Hold on. Let's blur it out for a second. My bad. He is still on a channel, Loman, or did he fold? No, he's still doing his uh his stuff, his things, uh his ma mafia content, whatever. Uh, he's just a weird dude. Like on his uh that whole thing where where you're watching him, he's smoking the cigar, saying he, you know, I, I'm telling you about the life from inside the life. It's like what a liar. You know, why couldn't you just bend yourself? Because he's a he's a knowledgeable kid. Like he can learn history. He knows. He knows more about these mob guys in every state than fucking anyone would know. He he looks he knows all that shit by by studying mob videos and Wikipedia, which is fine, great. That's how I learn about Rome and the American Revolution. Is I study videos and other people and read books and shit. You could have just been yourself. You didn't have to make up this whole persona that you were in a mobbed up family and. Like that's just fucking sick. Or saying you're from Providence, it's it's sick. Like you had family in Providence, you know. You're not from there. It's sick. Video showing them talking shit with their own voice. Yeah, that's all you do. Let's pull up that shit. The left wing conspiracy theorist. Yeah, that's Casbo, the lover of communism. These weird people. Uh, you know, it's a lot contradiction himself constantly. Yes, con uh, SBL Sharon, how's it going? God bless you, and prayers go out for your loss. Very sorry for your loss. He knows a lot about excuse himself constantly. I'm not sure he makes up a wonder why he listen. Yeah, he's he's total contradictions, man. I got so listen, if I wanted, I could do about nine shows on him, the content and the material that I fucking have, but I only got one more to do on him. In case he strikes my privacy strike again, then I'm going to fucking uh, show him what's up. Since he likes looking up my family, and he's already, and I've got the videos in his own words proving it, I'm going to look up his if he fucking hits me with one more privacy strike, that punk, that fake Providence fucking punk. Yeah, his family's, uh, and he puts uh, my friend Trox's cousin up there. Show us Secret Mafia Grandpa, you know? You won't show that picture. Why? You, you've got Trockley's cousin's picture behind you. Why can't you show a secret mafia grandpa? Fucking punk. I just hate these people. And all these phonies. And it's hard to watch a lot of these channels, man. It really is. Like, I'm surprised there's even still people in this genre. Because if I didn't have a channel, I wouldn't watch this shit. Including my own. <laughs> I wouldn't watch this shit. Unless you're going to worry about people doxing you and looking you up. So I tell people, don't come in my chat with your real names or nothing. Like, fuck that. If there's some scumbag liar, I don't give a fuck. Makes me sick. Clean. Uh, if he came out tomorrow, Nick, and sucked it up and came clean, you might watch him doing a mob documentary. Well, I would respect that. I That would show character. That would really show character, which he don't have. Uh that would show character, but like he's too far in it, you know. And I've been watching a lot of narcissists and liars, and boy, did they describe a lot of these guys from Tranbo to Phoebe. Like you call them out in their lie, and they get fucking mad because in their minds they're like they believe it almost. It's really sick, really sick and twisted. Yeah, say your prayers. Uh, for our friend who lost uh, a family member. Well, Sunday, I'll go light some candles, and my mother will too. My mother's been saying rosaries uh, for uh, Sorry for your loss and show me. Yes, uh, yeah, Doug. I would respect that. I, would I, I wouldn't like him or be his friend, but I would respect that shit because it would show character. You know, it would show character. Uh, it would be... Uh, that would never happen, though. It would, be, it would, yeah, it would help his channel. It really would. It would help his channel if he would just admit he was full of shit about that. Yeah, because he never had to make them stories up. The kid's not stupid. He's smart, just like me with history. You know, with Roman English history, American history. So the kid knows how to look shit up and retain shit in his head. So he didn't have to make up all them lies. 
you know, I'll tell these goofy guys from the Midwest and these guys from fucking Arkansas who don't know shit, go on their channels and tell them he grew up in a mob family and it, it, it was like mob wars going on. Yeah, fucking crazy shit. He's related to this one, that one. Fucking clown. Really uh, sick people. No, it really would, though. I really would. I'm going bad for <clears throat> two Sybil says. I'm going to go bad and fall out. And it's going to be fun to watch. Uh, I don't know. Who knows what those guys? Those guys fight and become friends all the time. You know, they'll fight, hate each other, then love each other. I don't understand. Uh, well, my, this is why I know, Jeff, you're just a fucking phony. You're just a phony. How could you be friends with that guy? How could you sit on his channel and promote him? Like you said, that woman fed you when you were hungry and starving. But yeah, you go on these channels and promote the channels and go on there and make the money who slammed the people who fed you and looked out for you. You're a fucking phony kid. None of these people know the idea of know what it means to be loyal. They really don't. Yeah, remember that one? Yeah, anybody, if you remember shit, bring it up because uh, I, I forget some stuff. Yes, remember that. I remember that Mob Rats one. I was live and he came in and said, I don't know. I don't know if you're nervous or not, but the guys in Philadelphia love you. Yeah, he said the guys in Philly told him they love my channel. I don't believe that for one fucking bit. You got a lot of, you know how many people have hit me up and told me that. Hey, my friend watches you in prison. I don't believe none of these motherfuckers. Fucking all liars, dude. A fucking... Uh, all bullshitters, man. Now, I'm just saying that. Like, what a fucking sicko. Yeah, and around that time, you remember he gave me the award, and he, uh, me and him were on Kane Shade's channel one time, and he was telling me how much talent I have, which I disagreed with. I don't have any talent. This ain't a talent, okay? Uh... And at the same time, he's helping these fuckers look me up. It's just amazing. It's like he wanted me going because I'm really from the city that he claims to be from. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Oh, I have years of NTI private shows recorded. Whose dad did he recently do a show on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't watch Fibby stuff. So I don't know. What show he did? Uh, oh, I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They're all sick, man. And what do all these guys that I'm talking about have in common? The Casbos, the Piggies, the Jeffs. They're all fucking liars, phonies, and fanboys. And they all backstab and betray their friends. They all do it, man. They all backstab and betray their friends. That's just what they do. People who are good to you. Like, you can get mad at your friends. I've got mad at people. I've been really mad at fucking people on here. I'll tell you that. I wouldn't, and I'd never made up lies or went and go on channels of people that fucking did rotten shit to people. Fuck that. Talking about the other night on your show? You were talking about the other night on your show. The sun was in your comments. Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think. I don't know. We were talking about the other night on your show. The sun was in your comments. Yeah, I'm trying to rack my brain. Why don't you find out who... Yeah, if people are in prison watching, they will find out who the fucking rat love is. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, the guy I talked about the other night. Oh, Damien? Uh, what about him? Well, uh, let me see. We were talking about the other night on your show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of those, uh, that rat a lot uh, said that he met Rocco and, and, uh, and some other guys that I passed on that lived around here and stuff. And it was all lies. Bullshit. He said that, uh, some old guy went to buy him cigars and just bullshit, man. They all fucking lie. They're all fucking humps. They're all just wannabes that never anything that live in their dream life on YouTube. Exactly. 
Someone said he did a show on Dam. Well, what, what bad could he say about Damien's father? Like, well, like you know, Rocco was a stand-up guy. Rocco never told on people. You know, God rest his soul. He was a good man. Never told on people, and he was schooled and uh, and brought up from Rudolph. Rudolph schooled him. Uh, Chicky said the same. Yes, he said the same thing. He said how oh, all the people in Providence loved me and Damien, the whole nine. And a year later, it's the opposite. We're all bad. Oh, God bless Ireland. My mother's people are from Ireland. Uh, my mother's grandparents or great-grandparents are from Derry City, Northern Ireland. Uh, I'm half, uh, half Irish, half Italian. Uh, yeah, I have a good one with Camoon. Yeah, all these people are just the same on here. That's why I like playing the novellas. I've been trying to play these ones for about a month, but I always had something else to do. I forgot about getting around to it, shit like that. But I'll, I'll wait. I'll let it go a few more. I'll, I'll stream for like another 10 minutes and I'll shut it down. Yeah, just sick people, man. <laughs> it's kind of comical. And like I said, they can't bant back and forth with you, so they got to dox and pull up. Just like those other crumbs, uh, Harold. Harold, the fake hell's angel, the fake guy did time, the fake purple hot guy. He takes joy in attacking a mother and wishing death on a mother. You disgusting bastard. Talking about that woman's son. That's, you know, I don't know. Like, you guys say you believe in God and shit. You don't. That's a disgusting thing to do. Disgusting. God doesn't like that shit, man. Can't believe some. I can't believe some of these people hang out. Yes, ever exactly. Imagine looking like such a fool like that. No shame. Oh, originally from Dublin. Oh, nice. God bless. God bless Ireland. And may they save Ireland from the Great Replacement. If you lived in NY, someone connected, bumped into you in the street. The next thing, they the best. Yeah, exactly, Ron. That's what all these wise guy humps. They can they can uh, bump into a guy and say hi, uh, be in the same line as him in a store, and then they're going to tell you they were his best friends and they did work with him. And it's a typical. That's why I, I call it uh, mob groupies. They're groupies and fanboys, wise guy humps. I get that from the Bronx guys, the wise guy humps. And that's just what they are. They're fucking humps. Uh, I think it's the greatest thing. I know you're keeping people in, in the light as they should be. Remember, an Assad, respectful man. Well, yeah, I, I never, I don't do like stupid mob history and mob things. Uh, but I will always honor, uh, the, the two men that I fucking, I love those guys. Those are great guys. Rudolph was like my second father to me. He was a great father, a great man. He loved animals. He helped so many animals and shit. He was just such a good dude. And like he was, he was literally like my second father. Uh, you know, on the boat, you know, one, if not both, uh, in the right now, uh, I don't know right now. I don't know what you mean. Oh, watching. Oh, yeah, they're all these fucking people are sick. I like. I can't watch streams like that. I won't watch a stream that if people are gonna slander me or bash me, I'm not gonna watch that. I won't even give it a view. <laughs> I don't know how anybody can watch streams of people ripping them them apart. It's just like maybe it's like that. You know, uh, those dominatrix shit. These people like whipping themselves or something. It's going to be fun uh, to watch when they get into a fight. Piggy will rat. Yeah, well, he already ratted Mob Talk Radio out. He tried to go on there and get him off the hook for doxing me, like he was part of that whole thing. And they literally admitted that they they, he, they did the opposite of what they were trying to do. <laughs> Fucking dummy. I always had an idea. Uh, <sighs> Fucking dummies. But uh, Mob Talk Radio is scared of Piggy. He's scared of him. That's why he made friends with him, because he was scared of him. Scared that he would talk about or make videos on him. 
because he's so fucking touchy. Why do you think he was privacy striking all my videos? Because if it wasn't true, would you privacy strike him, right? Would you give a fuck if it's not true, you know? And that guy was right. That guy said after he moved from Virginia, he went to York, Pennsylvania. And what did that thing just say? York, Pennsylvania. You guys are all full of shit, man. I just don't know how anybody can like these fucking liars or or put them like like I said before. You got two friends. All right, let's say let's make Doug and Sybil right here. Let's say Doug's always been a loyal pal to me, a good friend to me, never backstabbed me. Might have gotten to a couple arguments here and there, never backstabbed me. But Sybil has backstabbed me viciously has backstabbed me, trashed me, the whole nine. But then I forgive Sybil, okay. But I wouldn't hold Sybil and Doug on the same category. Doug deserves my loyalty more than Sybil because Doug always stayed loyal, you know? He's always stayed loyal, unlike Sybil, flip-flopping, uh, fucking backstabbing, all that shit. So when you put, <laughs> it's just a bad look. It's just a bad look. And people like that don't deserve to fucking have the same respect that somebody who was loyal to you has. Does anybody see what I'm saying here? You don't get what I'm saying, like Kid Rock? Like, like even if you forgive the people, whatever, like you're a friend that was loyal to you and showed you loyalty, you're going to stand by before the fucking scumbags. No, I'm using you as an example. <laughs> Mob Rat Hunter, what's up, bro? Make sure you check out Mob Rat Hunter's channel, Mob Rats 1, Maddie the Zeos, Rat Trap City, Cane Shades. If I'm missing anybody, it's my bad. Uh, Emery meant to tell you I had searched up my great grandfather's last name. It said in the 1920s there was a ton of more people uh, with his last name living in RI by Providence. And it really interesting. Wow. Interesting. Uh, I don't don't say the last name on here, but uh, interesting. I probably know. It's possible I went to school with some of your cousins or something. You know, <laughs> very possible. Uh, what joke, Sybil? I got a joke. Oh, from uh, oh, España. Oh, viva la Spain. Yeah, God bless the Spaniards, man. 1492, Isabella and Ferdinand, the Reconquista. Yeah. Viva España. God bless Spain. A beautiful Mediterranean fucking country, boy. But beautiful women, too. The Spaniard women in Spain are gorgeous. Fucking beautiful. Those dark olive eyes, that long black hair, Guma Isabel. Very beautiful, like Italian, Portuguese women. Uh, that Mediterranean, the Greek, that whole Mediterranean look. What the hell is that on the, what is that on there? I can't tell what that is. You're holding something. I don't know what that is. I can't see half of these uh, avatars. Mira, Mira on the wall. Who is the biggest stewie of them all? Hey, Emmy, the helmet. Uh, yeah, I will do a show on Emmy. I want to wait for the two week anniversary of Emmy's threat. I will do a show on where is it? Uh, where is Waldo? I guess, man, have a uh, hey, have a great show later. To all the brothers and sisters, have a good one. Thanks for watching, Doug. God bless you. Oh, the white, oh, okay, white rose. Uh, are you a Yorkist? The white rose of York, or right, having to do with history or something? Because uh, I was, I'm into the War of the Roses. The white, uh, the house of York with the white rose and the house of Lancaster with the red rose. Uh, you like the Emmy shows more Emmy? I will, SPL. I will for sure. Yeah, when I told my mother that, she kind of took it, she, she took it a little hard. She, she's a very religious person. Uh, I'm going to wait till it hits the three. I'll stay on for another 10 minutes. It's 2.48. Might as well stop it at three hours. All right, right. I'm going to lost. Amen, Carol. But I'm hoping uh, maybe we'll see some new novellas come out in the future. Make sure everybody subs to the channels that I used. 
maybe I should play a Rat Trap City song before I leave. Uh, I'll leave with a Rat Trap City song. I got Rat Trap City's channel in the description. He's the talented some bitch that made that song. Uh, the Sammy the Bye song. A long, long time ago, I still remember Sammy. <laughs> I can't sing it good, but he can. Let's see. Amazing. You know what? I'm sub to so many channels that I have to type in the channel. I can't even find them on my uh on my friggin' thing. It's unbelievable. Let's see which song we pick right here. Oh, I named that rat. Yeah, uh, I got my notebook somewhere with a bunch of things, but I would I would do name that rat, name that enabler also. Does Emmy cook his Play-Doh before eating, or does he just eat it raw? Raw Play-Doh. He don't cook it. Emmy doesn't cook. Emmy can't touch the stove. They try to keep Emmy away from anything hot. Uh, anything that could burn down the house or probably uh, burn Emmy. They keep him away from it. They keep him away from that. Uh, let's see. Which one do I put on? Well, you, oh, we'll, we'll use a hey, a hey Emmy one. And make sure you sub to those channels that I linked in the description. I got the We Push Back website down there. Make sure I'll go, uh, Give that a hit. Uh, go to the novella channel. There is the mob tube novella channel uh, in the link in the description. Uh, and there's also Rat Trap City's channel right here. Slower than Panisi. All right, let's start it. Hey there, Calandra, what's it like in New York City when everybody knows you ratted? I imagine pretty shitty who like you. Times Square hasn't scum that rivals you. I swear it's true. Hey there, Calandra, don't you worry about the distance. I'm right there if you get lonely. Give this song another listen. Close your eyes. Listen to the voice that you despise, I'm by your side. Slower than Penny C, slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C, slower than Penny C, slower than Penny C. Hey there, Calendra, I know times are getting hard Cause you teamed up with the begging scumbags And took everything too far, you're just no good You won't have the life you thought you would You never could Hey there, Calendra, I've got so much more to say If every simple song I wrote for you Would take your world away, I'd write it all and down the rabbit hole you'd fall, we'll have a ball. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. A thousand miles seems pretty far They monitor planes and trains and cars So I'll sing to you since I have no other way My friends and I, we laugh at you Because you act like such a fool And everyone who knows you feels this way Calandra, I can promise you That by the time that we get through Your world will never ever be the same And you're to blame Hey there, Calandra, you be good and don't you miss me Every single time you cross the line I'll be here making parodies like I do You'll know it's all because of you I'll do whatever I want to John Hinckley, no pot pie for fucking you 
Hey there, Calandra, here's to you. All the girls laughed at you. This one's for you. Slower than Penny C. Slow. Yeah, he does got chiclets for teeth. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. Slower than Penny C. Just a commie, kitten the commie, no pot pie for thee. Whoa, Walker. Yeah, all right, folks. God bless everybody. And ask Casbo why won't he stick up for his friend? Good night to everyone. Yeah, no pot poi for you. Po Nazi pot poi. Yes, Nazi snickerdoodles. God bless you. Billy the Kid, Base Billy. Based. God bless every Marbrad Hunter. What's up, bro? Make sure you check out Marbrad Hunter's channel. All right, I'm out of here, everybody. This is almost hitting the trail mark. I got to go. Got to get the fuck out of here. Remember, call the cops. Call the cops. <laughs> Team Snitch taking the L always. Uncle MRE over here, always with the W's. Emmy, where you at, Emmy? Emmy.